was lying now. Yeah. Hold up. Make this brother, make sure his is ready to go live. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Your yeah. is good? Yeah, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Alright, Shalom, Shalom to the whole full life of the nation of Israel. We're going to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh. Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakadash. Alright, and double honors to the apostles and the Elzegir Milstone who rule well and has uh, taught us his word in truth and sincerity. And peace and mercy to the whole full elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity, starting with 150,000 across the four corners of the earth and the rest of the whole full elect that believe. So uh, for today, we're doing an in-home. Um, the weather is, is crappy out there, ice and whatnot. Um, windy too, we got snow coming in for tonight. So uh, what I got here is Matthew 24. Seeing how uh, through the Holy Spirit, Apostle <coughs> Carter does this year, the whole full year, make him trouble. Sure. You know, and uh, you know, it's only been 13 days and the Lord's gotten busy. Mm -hmm. You know, strange apparitions in Miami. You got uh, earthquakes in uh, uh, Japan. And, you know, U.S. and U.K. have uh, basically um, said that they're, they're at war with Yemen, which is not, you know, in Iran. You know, so a lot of things are happening. And we know that before World War III really pops off in terms of uh, nuclear missiles that the sea hit. All right, for the prophecy um, needs to be enforced. Okay, so let me start at uh, Matthew 24 and uh, I'll start at 6. Okay, yeah, I'll start at 6. So it says here, Matthew 24 and 6. I'm going to read this in the NLT as well. So it says, And you will hear of wars and threats of wars, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. Na nation will come to war against nation, and kingdom against <coughs> kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. Sure. Right, and so these are all tokens and signs to let us know that we're at the end. The house is right on the corner. Okay, our salvation is nearer than we than we have hoped for. You know? So it says, but all this is only the first of the birth pains, with more to come. Uh, then you will be arrested, persecuted, <clears throat> and killed. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. Yeah, because you have to know how to to chronicalize the time that you're in, right? You have a book of chronicles, and the book of chronicles it chronicles the, 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 the timeline of us, you know, being in rulership, certain tribulations, right? But for the prophets, they they prophesied prophecies, right? But they were different times because there was different empires, right? Going back into the, the dream that got broken down and uh, through yeah. that, you had the you had the Romans, you had the Greeks, you had the yeah. medieval Persians, right? Yeah. And you had the, uh, the the revived Rome. Now we're in the time of the revived Rome, right. which really and truly we're in the time of the Book of Revelations, which is letting us know that we're actually in the time of the end. But the time of the end started from the rulership of the Babylonians. That was this this the end or the ticking time clock started from the Babylonians, but we weren't close to the end. Now we're close to the end, right? And that's confusing for a lot of people that thinks that this wicked society is going to keep going on and on and on and on, but that's not the way that it works, right? All these wicked rulerships had to get a chance to rule. And the last one had to happen with the Edomites, man, which was revived Rome. And now we're here again. That's why you have Roman numerals, right? You when you go into their law system, they speak Latin. When you look at their building, the way they build their buildings, it all goes back to Rome. Okay? You have more? Yeah, go on. And uh, it says here, verse 7, nation will go to war against nation. And nations have always been doing that. That's, that's nothing new. Right? That's nothing new about nations warring against nations. Right? We just mentioned the, um, the, 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 the Persians. Who took down the Persians? The Greeks. 
right? Yeah. Okay, so going on, it says here, um, and kingdom against kingdom, mm -hmm. there will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. That's right, and because we're in the time now of the, 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 um, the virgin Babylon, we have to let people know what's going to be the war in this time. And the war in this time is going to be them against Russia, right? Gog, Gog and Magog. Written, written in the scriptures, and it's going to happen because we already see the writing on the wall, so to speak, right? Edomites are going to fight against Edomites. That's right. Right? And that's going to be the end of this society. It's going to be, it's going to be like when... Um, it's going to be in a time like in Egypt when they didn't want to let us go, man. That's, right. That's what it's really all about. It's all about the precious stones of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's what this war is all over because no society has ever been built up without the um, without the, uh, the, the the men of the Lord or without the people of God. The people of God have created every single society that has come to pass. Every single one. You don't have a you don't have an Egypt without the, the children of the Most High, and every other rulership that has come to pass, it's been because of the children of the Most High. What has made them great, and has also been the ultimate destruction. That's right. Real quick, to back up your point with uh, Russia, Jeremiah fifty and forty one. It says, "Behold, the people shall come from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up." from the coast of the earth, behold, a people comes from the north, a right. mighty nation. And let me say this, it's so funny because this is all a game started by the bankers, but this game is gonna be turned around on them, mm -hmm. right? Because Russia are a part of the establishment as well. When you look at the Russian flag, you can tell that they're a Luciferian entity, a part of that that, that, that monopoly, which is backed by the bankers. But guess what? The Most High is going to put hooks in their jaws, man, and make them turn back to their old selves, man. And they're going to war against each other. Why? Because that is the, 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 the nature of the Edomites. The nature of the Edomites is, 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 um, is to turn against each other, man. Um, or if I could just make a point what you said, because America's flag is red, white, and blue. Russia's flag is red, white, and blue, mm -hmm. showing you that they're pretty, you know, spirit symbolically the same people, man. Yeah, you know, and they, and, and, they're, and, and, they're, and they're, their totemic animal is yeah. the eagle, right? Yeah. Right? And they, they're because Russia still is going to push the MOTB as well. Exactly. They have the same agenda. Exactly. Right? You know? Did Russia not push the juice? That's right. right. He called it something else. You don't have to mention the name, but he called it something else. Mm -hmm. So was Russia against the international bankers? No. That's right. That's right. So going back, it says here, Matthew uh, 24 and uh, 8, this is, it says, well, all this is only the first of the, of the birth pains with more to come. Then you will be arrested, persecuted, and killed. You will be hated all over the world because you are my followers. Yeah, and we could tell you how it went for prophets in the past times, right? You had prophets that were stoned. You had prophets that were killed. Our own Savior, our own Savior went through this prophecy. So how could we escape from this prophecy in our time? That's right. That doesn't make any sense. So in our time, we're letting you know what we're going to go through. We're going to lose everything, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to lose everything uh, pertaining to this physical world. That's right. Right? So that's why we need to try and hold on to the truth. That's right. right? That's why the scriptures talks about uh, uh, um, how you gird yourself. You have to gird yourself with your shield, with your buckler, which is a representation of this truth, <clears throat> knowledge, and wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, real quick, brother, you can this. this is um, backing up death because that's a reality that a lot of you Israelites don't even meditate on when it comes to this ministry. Right? We don't know who's going to die for this truth, but we know that men are going to die for this truth because it's prophesied. <coughs> so this is Sirach 41, and... Um, the point in three, I'm going to start in two. It says, O death, acceptable is thy sentence unto the needy, and unto him whose strength faileth, that is now in the last stage, and is vexed with all things, 
and to him that despaireth and hath lost patience. Right? And then verse 3 is the point. So it says, mm -hmm. Fear not the sentence of death. Mm -hmm. Remember them that have been before thee. Hey, because you have to understand that we are in the greatest time in the history of mankind for us. Right? Somebody get Job 5 and 19 real quick, Babakushan. Right? Because, not, yeah. not you, Amak, because you know what I mean, like three scriptures. <laughs> Bring it up. Pardon. Yes, please. Job 5, chapter 19, verse 19, select. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Right? And that's going for the elect. So is there going to be a deliverance? Yes. Right? You people like to, to, to label us as doom and gloom which it's doom and gloom for you that's right mm -hmm. right but you have to understand there's that there's an opposite of everything so just like in our time of calamity it was joyous for you right. right when you hear so-called black people latinos native americans talking about their calamity it wasn't the same for other people you other people were living your best lives so in your time of calamity so the, oh, oh, oh what about you we're going to be celebrating what do you mean I, I don't care about your calamity that's right John. your calamity is is my joy that's right that's Three. right Three. yay in <clears throat> seven there shall no evil touch thee exactly speaking about the elect and that's the only thing we care about you should not care about yourself, man. You should only care about your team winning. I'm on the winning team even if I'm not a, a, a the elect. Mm -hmm. Even if yeah, I'm not yeah. the elect, I'm still on the winning team. You're not. That's right. That's right. You Babylonians, you heathens, you're not on the friggin' winning team. It's a lose-lose for you. Yeah. Yeah. Keep reading on. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. Right? Talking about the elect, man. Right? Because this is all about the elect and the one-third. So even in famine, the both sides going to redeem you from death, which means that you're going to be good, which means that you're going to be kept because you're his woman. Which man doesn't take care of his woman? Only an unrighteous man. A righteous man makes sure his woman is good. That's just the mindset of a man is to take care of his family. So the most high through his son is going to make sure that his, his women are good, which is a representation of you men. Go ahead. And in war from the power of the sword. And that's what's here. We're here in the time of war. But for some reason, the, the, the elect and the one-third are going to be okay. Even if they go through what the brother just read. The brother just read, some of you guys are going to get your heads chopped off. You're going to die. But guess what? Who cares? You're going to be raised up first. Isn't that joyous? Your head getting chopped off should be like... Um, uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh. That uh, rebellious slave. They did a movie on him. Oh, Nat Turner? Uh, Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Nat Turner. Right? Yeah. When they put his head in the, in the thing to chop it off, he was smiling. Yeah. And they were confounded. Right. Yeah. Because then your punishment doesn't even suit them no more. Right. What type of punishment is that if the person you're punishing is laughing? Right. <laughs> it doesn't even make spirit. sense. Son, that's the spirit. Because um, what he wants to do yeah. is break your soul. He wants to break yeah, your spirit. spirit. Con. You know, and that's what they can do to Nat Turner. They couldn't yeah. break his spirit. But the Lord's going to put a heavy spirit upon the elect where you're not going to be able to do that. Exactly. You know, and that's really going to come down to like, yo, these are the sons of God. Just like the, the people that got fried in the frying pan couldn't break their, break their spirit. Break their spirit. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 so no, I'll no, just finish no. this up real quick. No, 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 the brother has more. Okay, more. Okay, the point ahead. is, he's going to read the point just now. Hold on. Hold on. Um, back in um, Job 5, verse 21. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, Neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Here's the point. At destruction and famine, thou shalt last. So we're in the greatest time in the history of our existence as a people. That's right. That's right. Because in the beginning of thing, that was sorrowful. But now we're in the end of a thing and we're still being sorrowful? Why are you guys still singing Sam Cooke? <laughs> change gonna come. come. Yeah, change, change gonna come. Yeah, try, huh? Why are you guys still singing old Negro spirituals? Yeah. Why are you guys still in church, still hitting that? Yeah. I don't want to hear that, man. That's right. That's Pour right. up the wine. That's right. Pour up the liquor. That's right. Pour up the liquor. Because we're in that time of our deliverance, man. That's right. That's right. What the heck? Did we just see what just happened in Miami? Are we not going to talk about that? That's right. Are we not going to celebrate that? That's right. <laughs> the Most High confounded a whole city. Right. They shut down an airport. 
fruition, man. That's right. That's right. Are you guys kidding me? What, what, what are we doing now? That's right. Yeah. This is a time to celebrate. Their, their radios were, wasn't even working. And they were saying, oh, they shut down the power grid. How do we know they shut down the power grid? Or it was the angels that shut down the power grid? All right. We don't know if they did. Oh, oh, they shut down the power grid. Please. The, the, the angels probably shut down the power grid. Oh, they did. Yeah. God, that was the point, right? Yeah, that was the point. Okay, Khan, so I'll just finish it up. And I'll go. This is uh, Sirach 441. Fear not the sentence of death. Come. Remember them that have been before. But yes. why would you fear the sentence of death when all of this joyous news? Right. The only way you're going to fear the sentence of death is what? Why would you fear the sentence of death? He lost faith. Thank you, brother. He lost faith. That's it. Yeah, you don't believe. That, you're not a believer. Yeah. The only way you're near death from a yeah. is if you lost faith. Yeah. Because what scripture say, it says, fear not them that kill the body. Destroy the soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. You still worrying about the body and you're gonna get a new one? That means you guys don't even know what this thing is. Right. And then it says here, uh has been before thee. Um, points to the miracles that happened to our forefathers when they were in death. Exactly. Mm -hmm. the when they were in situations that nobody thought they could get out exactly. of. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody wants to be King David, but what about um, Daniel? Daniel in the lion's den. Twice. twice. In the in the, in the burning furnace. Yeah. What about Joseph? Joseph? Joseph, yeah. You sold, right? So hmm. he, the Lord is getting so ready to bring heavy divine intervention to let the world know who his people are. That's the word. That's the word. You know? That's the word, brother. And that's what this society who has been so sold on um, on carnality yeah. is going to have to start getting used to. Right. Divine that's intervention. That's right. Spiritual right. things happening to where they have no excuse and no right. scientist can come on yeah. 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 and say, oh, yeah. one plus one equals <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. And it says, and that come after... For this is the sentence of the Lord over all flesh. Mm -hmm. And why are thou against the pleasure of the Most High? Because this is bigger than us. Yeah. The Most High is going to use us to glorify his name. Put the spirit on the prophet mm -hmm. to laugh in the face of his enemy. Glorify the name of the Heavenly Father and his Son. Right. While you might be talking about the dead. You get, these Edomites get no victory. They get East and Jake. You know, buckling up and lining up for the mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, but yeah, for, yeah. But for those remnant that are standing stiffly against the word or uh, against Esau for the word, that's what Esau is losing sleep overnight about. You know, and during the time of nine eleven, when the, when our elder apostles were arrested, wasn't that a sign for them? That's right. They glorified exactly. the Most High. Exactly. They never buckled. That's right. They glorified the Most High and pushed even harder right. after. Yeah. They came back out again. That's right. They could have been like, yo, forget this Israelite thing. That's right. But they said, yo, I'm going to go harder. And look at the fruit of their labor, man. Yeah. After persecution. That's right. So that's it on the point. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Hold on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none, of these, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast of you into prison. Hey, you know what's beautiful about our elders and about the brothers that are part of this thing? They always told us about the persecutions. They never just told us about the glories, right? They never told us about all the things that were, were going to come. Man. They never sold us on, oh, you know what? Come into this truth and brothers are going to get women. Brothers are going to get married. Brothers are going to get cookouts. We weren't sold on that. We were sold on, yo, your brother's going to lose your woman. You're going to lose families. You're going to lose houses. That's what I was sold on. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Because I was like, damn. It was that fear. I was like, that's what I'm coming into? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So nothing surprised me. Kind. There was no loss that was going to surprise me because I was like, you know what? This is what it is because this society teaches you that blessings is yeah. reward. Kind. Carnal gifts. Carnal gifts yeah, is a blessing yeah, from yeah. the Most High. That's what yeah, this society yeah. teaches you. So then you start to question yourself. Oh, shit, I don't have none of that. So I might not be blessed. Yeah, right. When that's foolishness. Yeah, prosperity. Prosperity, yeah. which is a prosperity doctrine. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. God. 
because a big thing out here in Toronto is having owning a home, home ownership, Con. right? Con. And you're you, blessed. You don't, yeah, you know, if you don't own a home here, you know you're not it or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's that's for you guys. That's for people of this world, whatever. Right. If you do, if the Most High does give you a home, it's beautiful. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's all things of the world, man. You know, we, we're getting the spiritual gifts, the spiritual blessings, man. You know, that you people can't get, man. You can't obtain this knowledge, this truth. That's true. You, right. you know how vast this thing is? That's true. All right? Mm -hmm. And if, if you don't get it, this thing now, you're not going to get it at all. Don't think that when all hell's breaking loose, we're going to be sitting down and breaking down scriptures with you. Right. You see what I'm saying? Hey, go go yeah. to the library, get an apocryphal. Right, right. <laughs> Everybody's in survival mode. Even the, the prophets. The prophets are going to be in survival mode, man. So they're going to have to do, we're going to do what we have to do to live, man, to survive. You know, there's no going to be no laws. So you, you people do the math, man. All right? That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulations ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Last verse. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Really break it down. And the churches is one of the prophets, man. Oh, yeah. Because, because um, you know, most that dwell in, in um, buildings not made with hands. Um, All right, so we're those men out there giving giving you, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the food that's been chewed, you know? You know, you have a bird who chew the food for, for our young. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, they break it apart. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, we, you know, that's why they have great milestone. We break the scriptures down, man, and we feed it to the elect. All right, and Moses says, it says, it says he, he that hear, let him hear what the Spirit, mm -hmm. right? Not what Very each cool. brother in a carnal life has to say, what the Spirit has to say, right? What wow. the prophet of the Lord is saying to you, right? right? If, if a man comes to you saying, well, I think it's like, tell a man, shut up, man. <laughs> all right, I don't want to hear that. I hear it all day. I want to hear what the Bible says to me and show it to me, right? right? That's what we call scriptures out. And right. if he has an opinion, he better be able to prove it. Because well, 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 sometimes an opinion can still be truth, but you have to prove it. God, that's right. right. That's right. right. Like Paul. Right. Paul did that a lot. Right. But his opinions were based on scriptures. Exactly. Right. Or his recommendations that he had for us. That's right. Because there's righteous recommendations that are not law. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. And he said, he that overcometh uh, shall not be hurt by the second death. And your question your, your question be then, what was the first death? God. All right, I'll tell you, you know, that was a flood. Right? There's no new thing in the sun. So you, this spirit that I'm talking to or we're bringing down to, you. you've been around before, brother, a few mm -hmm. times, you know what I mean? So this is your, this is it. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is Jackson says? This is it, man. That was, that was the last thing before you, you know? <laughs> and he said some truth. God. He spoke a lot of truth, God. too. Which shows you that, like, um, I was thinking about this earlier with this Miami thing. These police officers in Esau and everybody were scrambling. That's because they had no control over it. None. And that's exactly. what the Lord is doing. The Lord is showing you, like, listen, you don't control this. Yeah. I run this. Mm -hmm. You know, especially with a lot of these guys who come out and talk to my dreams before they die. Mm -hmm. You know, like, the Lord is going to show the whole world, just like he did with Egypt, he's going to glorify his name and his son's name. Right. You know, and <clears throat> you go into the, the, the word name, he's rank as well. Mm -hmm. He has the top rank above all things, and then he gave that authority to his son. So a lot of you Israelites that don't want to worship you know, shy. Like I did a lesson during the week and that shouldn't even be a discussion. Mm -hmm. so, so you, have, you have to understand the power of Yahweh Shai because he actually gets to dwell in the right. presence of Yahweh. We don't. God. So for all you people that are calling on God, even if you call on Yahweh, cool. But you have to understand, Yahweh is not dealing with no other spirit. That's right. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand the power of the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it says that he was able to loose the books of the seven seals. Yeah. You have to understand mm -hmm. who you're dealing with, man. Mm -hmm. You're not dealing with a regular person, man. Hey, yeah, man. You saying that you don't want to worship Yahweh Shai? Cool. Yeah, exactly. That means if he was here, you would you would look the man in the eye. You wouldn't prostrate yourself on the floor. But that's what all the angels in heaven did. Exactly. Yeah. As soon as they bowed. found out who he was, bowed. they all bowed. Yeah. They said, "Oh, this is him." Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. That's who true. was? He said, "Oh, you were found worthy." Right. right. Wow. 
Yeah. Right? Because we all tried. Yes, didn't, right. didn't we try? Yeah. Well, yes. Even right now in the flesh, we're yeah. trying. Right. And guess what? Fair. Every single one of you failed. <laughs> I can look in every yeah. single one of you men's eyes and you failed. Yeah. You never passed the tests. Every single one of you are sinful. You, you sinned. You went off. I went off. What does that mean? That means we have to turn to Yahushai. Mm -hmm. Because it's only through him. Because we failed. Yeah. You tried. Yep. And then the only thing you can say is, you did that? Right. That means that the man has to get his props. Right. He came in the flesh and defeated the flesh. We've been trying. And every time I try, I fail. And then I get back on the bike again, I drop down again. Yeah. That's why it says a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. Yeah. Yahushai never fell one time when he tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when he came as Yahushai, <clears throat> yeah. that's hard, man. <laughs> Uh, even like at his birth, like when he was born, like he had a couple of wise men who came to into, into uh, Jerusalem asking uh, Herod like where where, the, where, where, where where Bethlehem was so he actually go and worship him. Like when when Herod uh, heard about it, he actually asked him tell him where he was so he could so called worship him. Yeah. So even at his birth, man was well Herod, yeah, and you know what? That's that's one trying of the Herod, you're trying to ask a question, yeah, but you know what? It tells you when you go into the history that Herod was very curious about your house shot. Because the way he roamed, you could tell like, he was a king of something. Wow. You know? Well, if you have armed soldiers, right? Yeah. Trained men looking for a baby. How come they never did that for none of the other guys? Guys, guys. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is going with the brother, because I mentioned it now. <laughs> but to see him, because hopefully this is the year of his trouble. Yeah. Right, two and one. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare. Right, it wasn't three years ago we were tempted to think they see him. Fine, right, to think we are the Beetle Jews. So yeah. this time it's going to get worse, right? right. Uh, verse two, set thy heart are right and constantly endure. To make no haste in time. Mm -hmm. The troubles here, man. The troubles is, 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 is around the corner. Right, right. You know? And uh, if I can add to your point there, because when you look at the word endure, it's, mm -hmm. it means to make hard. Come, come. Someone who doesn't hate, poise. Mm -hmm. Right? Wisdom and knowledge should be the stability. So we're suffering, so we're suffering now, so that when comes, we know how to be. Y'all right. watch Have you, ever, have you ever seen that before? If you've ever seen a person in chaos mm -hmm. and they're the coolest yeah. one, yeah. that person is, you're just like, what the heck? Mm -hmm. Everybody else is panicking, the thinking, the and that person is just like, still. Yeah. Yeah. still. Mm -hmm. It's like they're seeing things in slow motion. <laughs> exactly. You're in the zone. Yeah. You're in the zone. That's how the character in Game of Thrones, the Peter Vader guy. He yes. He drives on, in chaos. He drives in chaos. Yeah. That's right. So, yeah, Con. Yeah. Uh, verse 3, cleave up to him. You know what I'm Right. 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 This is the time you have to be with Yahushua. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you cleave unto him, and depart. Cleave unto him, and depart not away that thou mayest be in increase Come. in that last end. Beautiful. Right? So this is the time. So um, well, mine has one. Yes. Uh, it says here because. Um, the brother was going into um, how we're so unrighteous because due to the fact that we're living in this flesh. Um, I got Isaiah 64 and 6 and said, but we. No, no, no. I wasn't even, that wasn't even my point. You could bring out your point, but yeah. it wasn't even that we're in the flesh because I was just comparing us to Yahusha. Oh, come on. Because he, he got the flesh as well. Right. So he defeated the flesh. We can't. Right. Come on. So we have to give this man reverence. Right, right, right. Come on. This is Isaiah 64 and 6. But we are all as because here's the point. Before you go on, right. the point is that there's a hundred and forty-four thousand plus this person who's going to be able to lose the, the book of the seven right. seals. Right. He did that. Yeah. So all the hundred and forty-four thousand, 
They all had a chance. Mm. Every spirit in the world had a chance to do what he did. Gone. They never did it. Yeah. <laughs> None of them did it. That's yeah. right. Gone. Yep. yep. Says, uh, but we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are the filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because that's that the iniquities represents death, Gone. which is why, like the brother just mentioned, cleave. They're cleaving on to this man. Mm -hmm. They're cleaving on to the faith that they are a part of that hopeful elect. That's the only thing that you have to escape this judgment that Gone. we are we're talking about. Yep. We're not escaping because of our righteousness, because the brother just read that it's like filthy rags. So the only way to escape is through this man. If you think it's through Yahweh, Yahweh cannot bear your filthiness. He, you right? he cannot. He doesn't deal with filthiness. Right. He's too righteous. That's why, That's why he sent his only begotten. Right. Yep. Yes, you see you through the lens of the sun. Yeah. That's the sun is perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's so that's the standard. standard. Yeah. That's the standard. Simple. It is perfection. One hundred percent. Perfect. You know, so if you got these guys saying that we're not to worship behind a shy, you know, that's you're just being a demon because you, you I know you read the scripture and it's yeah. throughout the whole scriptures where even the angels bow and the angel are in a perfect order. So, how much more people who are in a yeah. corruptible flesh? Yeah. Exactly, are you better? <laughs> Anyways, that was it on that app? Yeah, that was it. Okay, I had a scripture and I'm gonna pull up Relax oh. and uh, come on. Well, I was saying yeah. earlier about. Uh, who doesn't come to worship? Yeah, how much I you know? Uh, yeah. Just bring up this quick. Uh, this is Second Chronicles chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. That whosoever would not seek the Lord Yahweh of Israel shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. Right. Uh, Psalms 2 and 12. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and he perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are they that put their trust in him. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a spiritual kiss, right? And even even <clears throat> in the customs, you know, uh, you would greet one another with a kiss on the cheek. Con. The Latin tribe, they still hold that to yeah. today. Con. You know, mm -hmm. even, even uh, parts of Nigeria still hold that to today. You see an elder, you kiss him on the cheek, you know? Mm -hmm. Even if they're not related to what not, but it's a custom. But this is a spiritual thing. So the most high saying, you know, if you if listen, if you want to get good on the most high side, you gotta get, get good with his son. Exactly. Right. Oh, okay, you cool with my son? All right. You yeah. must be a, you yeah. must be a good spirit if you're rocking with my son. Because exactly. I know my son's perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you guys wanna wanna sidestep you have a shy and try to get to the most high directly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, the is going to put some serious judgment within Israel That's this right. year. Serious right. judgment. That's right. That's he right. said that when it came to uh, uh, Samuel and Elijah, or uh, not Elijah, but um, Eli, because he wouldn't discipline his sons for what they were doing with the sacrifices. Oh, fine. And the Mosai said, I'm going to do a thing that's going to make the ears tingle in Israel. He's going to do the same thing today. Hey, well, this society is set up oh, under a court. Right. So are we. Right. This truth is set up under a corporate structure right. as well in righteousness. Right. So you people know about the corporate structure. A lot of you people, you have LLCs, you have corps, right? right? You have all of that stuff. But we're as well. You don't talk to, 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 to the people that are on top. Right. You don't talk to owners of corporations. You don't even freaking know who they are. Mm -hmm. right. You have to talk to, 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 to the men who are the, the people who are running things, man. Right? And the people who are running things in our thing is Yahweh Shai, man. Right, right. <laughs> right Does it matter? No, 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 it was you. Yeah, but no, I'm done, I'm done. Let me yeah. bring up what Malak, what Malak uh, just real quick, because Malak brought this up. Uh, Malak, what priest was it again? Yeah, that's uh, Psalms 118, yeah. 1620, who's uh, Brother Howell, according to. Uh, in regards to yourself and the way to, uh, in regards to, uh, how we be chastened by the Lord. Okay. And, uh, we should praise him and, uh, he delivers us from that. That's what that goes into. Come on. What verse again? 118 to 16. Okay, come on. Uh
the 16 first? Uh, you can really start at uh, 14 and just go down to, to verse 20. Okay. The point is in uh, 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 verse 18. Okay. Psalms 118. Okay. Right? So Psalms 118 and 14 uh, says. Uh, giving thanks, like the brother says, right there in the spirit. Giving thanks for what the Lord is doing right now. Okay. In regards to the elect. Okay. So Psalms, Lord, yeah, that's what I'm Psalms 118 and 14, the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my song, and is become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing is and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord. Hey, and uh, you, you people, you're finding out because your um, your tabernacles. Uh, TV Jakes, TV Joshua, all these people are starting to be exposed. Right. Mm -hmm. Even your musicians, your entertainers, mm -hmm. you're being exposed. Do you know why? Because there's no righteousness in there. Mm -hmm. And you know why? Because they are hypocrites. Mm -hmm. We're not painting that picture as if to say, oh, we're righteous men. We never told you people that. We told you people that we have the truth. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing that you cannot confound us on is the truth. God. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. If you bring if you bring your daughters to us and your daughter is of legal age and she's she's a virgin, well guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna pop her. We're not gonna tell you people, oh yeah, we're coming, we're just gonna pray, we're gonna sit in the lotus position. No, 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 no. Yeah. Because a lot of you people, you're confounded by your own unrighteousness. Right. Right? right? right. Because the things that this society is persecuting certain men are of it's not even unrighteous. God. Telling me a man is popping a woman of legal age is not unrighteous. It's unrighteous to your laws. Right. But because you people are hypocrites to the laws of the Most High, you're your own lies, man. God. You can't expose us. Because I'm, I'm already telling you that as a man of the Lord or as an Israelite, you can have multiple wives. So you can't come to me and be like, oh, you said you were a man of God yeah. and you have more than one wife. Mm -hmm. So what? Yeah, that's the truth. It's lawful. Yeah, you can't persecute me for that. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yo. And it says, um, verse, okay, so verse 15 in the NLT, it says, like, victory are sung in the camp of the godly. Which is the time that we're living in right now. This should be the greatest time of our lives, man. As men of the Lord, if you were a man of the Lord, you should see the finish line. God. Because Paul always talked about this like it's a race. God. So if you can't see the finish line or see the light of the end of the tunnel, then you're in the wrong race. Because if you, just like the elders continue to say, man, this might be it. That's right. And that's how I feel. Yeah. I feel like this is it. Yeah. Because how much we go? There's only so far that we can go until the society is just completely engulfed in unrighteousness. Uh -huh. And we can't survive in that. Right. Not even a righteous man can survive in a world that's filled with trannies. Mm -hmm. no. You can't. Yeah, yeah. You can't survive in a world that's only filled with GMOs. Right. You can't. Yeah. There's only so far that a righteous man can yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's why um, the Lord took Enoch away too, because the world around him was changing, and right. the Lord said, if he didn't take him away, he was going to fall to the um, to the ways of the world. That's right. Yeah. It says here, verse fifteen, and yet, and that was you know, that Enoch being taken as spiritual, because yeah. you know, Con. you know, so who knows? But you know, that's the other spiritual thing. And by Repentance. That's right. Well, so that's, that's what we preach. Yeah. Exactly. So he was doing what we're yeah. doing. Exactly. Same he was doing the exact same, same thing. thing. So finishing off, it says, uh, songs of joy and victory are sung in the camp of the godly. <coughs> the strong right arm of the Lord Yahweh has done glorious things. That's right. That's right. That's right. The strong right arm of the Lord Yahweh is raised in triumph. The strong right arm of the Lord Yahweh has done glorious things. I will not die instead. I will live to tell what the Lord Yahweh has done. The Lord Yahweh has punished me severely. 
but he did not let me die. Right? So that just shows that the suffering is to build you up. It's to purify you. That's it. That's what, it, that's what he's all about. And sometimes the suffering is to save you mm -hmm. from the perils that was coming ahead. Right. Because sometimes in this life, you're speeding so fast that if the most I never put you on a detour, mm -hmm. then you were going to die. Yeah. Yeah. Crash out. Yeah. 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 Right out the bridge. You know? yeah. Sometimes you blow your tire for a reason. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Slow you down. Yeah. 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 Yep. So true. And it says here, verse... Uh, 19, okay, Khan. Verse 19, it says, open, okay, Khan, Khan, Khan. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter, and I will go, and this is in NLT, and I will go in. Hey, and that's a choice that every man has to make. And I'm sorry to tell you that it's GMS. I know it hurts a lot of you feelings, but the reason why it's through GMS is because they're preaching the name the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai. The majority of you are not. Right. The majority of you are preaching Jesus. Yeah. Right. 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 And there is no deliverance in Jesus. Right. I'm sorry to tell you. Right. TV right. Joshua is preaching Jesus. So if TV Joshua is preaching Jesus, why would I want to go there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. TV Jakes is saying Jesus. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that means the Most High's name wouldn't be righteous because the Most High's going to have his name in unrighteous Jesus. people's mouth. Yeah, right. You people are a bunch of degenerates and he's going to have your name in his mouth. <laughs> right. The Most High kept said he kept his name on your damn mouths, man. Right. You guys can't even utter his name. Not even the J double O's can uh, uh, say his name. And he's going to have your names in a bunch of deep mind people's mouths, man. Yeah, well, let me just finish this up for the brother. Yeah, the last one. The last one. The last one. It says here, these gates lead to the presence. Oh, verse 19. Open for me the gates where the righteous enter. That's right. And one of the gates where we enter, because what does it say in uh, um, Ezekiel? It says, um, uh, it talks about their persecution, the, the men that sigh and that cry. Right. So we're letting you brothers understand what it means to be a righteous because we have to switch your mind from what the world has told you about blessings. It's not about blessings. We can't be blessed in an unrighteous place. There is no blessing. So our blessing is really the persecution that we're going through, which is what the brothers have been reading this whole time. Persecution, persecuted, persecuted for righteousness sake. Yeah, that's that's where it um, you enter. Right. Read that part again. Uh, it says, open for me the gates where the righteous enter. Right, and how we open that is through knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and letting you understand how you seek the most high, how you please the most high. What is love? Because all throughout church, when I go to church, I hear them say love, right. but they never told me what love is. Right. And the brothers have broken it down in the in, in GMS. That's right, that's right. And then it says, and I will go in and thank the Lord. Exactly, because that's all that this is to do. It's not to thank me as the man, just like how you see the face of all these other leaders like Nate Satan and whoever else, you're thanking them. We're leading you to thank the Most High and His Son. That's, right. That's what the brothers just sat here and just did. We um, elevated and we praised Yahweh. We didn't praise ourselves. That's right. We're not even praising the Father. We're praising the Father for His Son. Mm -hmm. That's how we praise the Father. That's right. Because we won't be able to give Yahweh His proper praise until we're cleansed. Yeah. Until we're in new bodies. Right. You cannot Praise Yahweh the way he needs to be praised, being filthy because he's already turned his back on you. Um, hence, exactly. Hence, Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Right? In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son. So the only way the Father is going to accept anything you do if you do it in the name of his Son. So if you just say Yahweh without his Son, he's, he doesn't care if you glorify his name. He didn't glorify his son. His son. Yeah. So yeah. therefore, he didn't glorify him. Because yeah. he made that order. He That's right. that order. That's right. right. You know, so finish it up. It says here, um, 20. This is the last verse, right? 20. Con. That's right. It says, these gates lead to the presence of the Lord Yahweh, mm -hmm. and the godly <clears throat> enter there. And these are spiritual gates. They represent a baptism, okay. right? Just like the brothers. This is the gate right now, right? The gate is the Urim and the Therm. 
And all you men who are listening to this word, you're being baptized by something known as truth. Truth is the baptism. The word is a baptism. And it's baptizing you with what? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because how were we, how were we destroyed? We were destroyed because of lack of knowledge. That's right. right? So this is how you get baptized in this time. You get baptized to, uh, through truth. Right, because uh, like the brothers um, were bringing out not too long ago um, on the on the live, they were talking about the, um, the the first covenant, and the first covenant was a carnal thing, right? You would sacrifice this, you would sacrifice that. We're in a time of spirituality, man. We're in a time of spiritual sacrifices, man. Sure. We're not in a time of carnal carnal things anymore, man. So to just back, to, to just take a bottle of water and to say, come here, let me wash you off. That's not good enough for the most high. That's not good enough for his son. You gotta be cleansed, man. Your mind's gotta be changed. You gotta become like a new baby. And the most high is, if, you, if any of you think that you're in the camp or you're in this truth and you're hiding your true intentions, that's to your own destruction. If you don't believe this thing, if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, if you don't really believe that this, this society is going to be destroyed, the Most High already knows that you haven't been cleansed. Mm -hmm. This is a spiritual cleansing, not something that we could see, something that the Most High can see and His Son can see, and the angels, because it's the angels that are going to exact judgment for the men that have the Tawa, and you won't have the Tawa on you. Remember a quick script. Have a definition from baptism in the uh, in the Zanzibar Bible Dictionary. Yeah, yeah, bring that out quickly. Comes from the it says baptism. It says that the word baptizo in Jewish usage first appears in the Mosaic laws of purification. That's what it represents. It represents a purification. Right. Now, in the carnal sense of the first covenant, it was supposed to represent a changing of your mind and a repentance, so you understand that you were going off. But like the brothers were bringing out in uh, in the live, they were saying that the majority of Israel were just just to do it. Right. They were pre-planned and have the the, 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 the yes the ready yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They don't. and that's what and that's what the people in this society do. They commit wickedness and go to church and say, "Yeah, I'm ready to be baptized." Mm, right. What? And then you said you just said they're condemned by their own wickedness. So that shows you they don't even believe in their own fool, uh, folly. No, they don't. Just like Israel, they didn't believe in that system anymore. I, exactly. And that's why they were still meditating. It was just a scapegoat. It was just a scapegoat. And that's all it was. Yeah. To mask their unrighteousness. Exactly. Exactly. Just like when a woman puts on a head wrap. She puts on a head wrap and then ma magically she's righteous. Take that shit off. Take that shit off. A lot of you women have your head wrap with your cleavage on. Take that. Just be real. Just be real. I already know that's what you're about. Just be a hoe. Just be a hoe. Just be a hoe. We're going to clap the cheeks. We got the cheeks, man. We're going to clap. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, where are we at? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 the brother had more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it says, um, in, the mosaic, in the mosaic laws of purification, it says, uh, where it means uh, washing or cleansing, it says the Jews baptized proselytes, it says John's baptism was connected with repentance so that the Jews might be, be spiritually prepared wow. to receive, uh, to recognize and receive the message. I didn't even know that it said that. All these years of happened that, I didn't even know that it said that. This honor van Bible just told the truth, letting you know that. They, read that part again, yeah, man. Read it again. God says, um, the Jews baptized, uh, the Jews baptized proselytes. John's baptism was connected with repentance so that the Jews might be spiritually prepared wow. to recognize and receive the Messiah. Wow, and that's why at that time, what was going on during that time? It was repentance to who? To the, to, 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 to the Israelites that went off, that were being called heathens. Right. But this was a spiritual thing. Right. This was always a spiritual thing, man. And that's why the, 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 the Israelites that were carnal, that were in Jerusalem at that time, were just like, you guys, why right. is he preaching to you? Right. What? You guys don't have fringes. You guys don't have beards on your faces. You guys are not circumcised. Right. Not understanding that this was to bring Israel back yeah. into the fold, man. Right. right. Hmm. And it's funny because those um, elders and men, the Sadducees and Pharisees, mm -hmm. 
they would read the law and the prophets, but not understand. And in the law and the prophets, especially in the prophets, it talks about the Lord reaching the gap. Like Israel, but they, right. it went right over their right head. Right over their head. So when they saw these, and it, it, when you go into the history, it kind of makes sense because a lot of those guys came from the families of the Maccabees who fought so hard for that system, the political system. So they, they came up on the level to to the point where they're just like, okay, we're just not dealing with you guys anymore. Hey, even we get into that spirit sometimes. Right. right. Where we hate we hate our, our own people. people. Yeah, yeah. We hate you so much. Yeah. And we become carnal to where we're just like, oh shoot, well, this man might be a of the elect. Yeah. We don't know. Right. Right? It's right. Not, it's not our judgment to have That's right. of this person who might look like an Elamite. That's right. He might look like a Moabite. You have to judge it by the spirit. You have to judge by the spirit. Yeah. Does or not? Yeah. I was going to bring out Jeremiah. Um, hey, I, bring, bring I, that out more, even when we're on the highways. Oh, that's, that's, that was good. I bring out, that was good. Oh, Jeremiah 23 and 1, but I'm going to actually jump down to, um, to 20. I'm going to jump down to 20. Jeremiah 23 and 1. But this is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 20. It says, the anger of the Lord, Yahweh shall not return until he have executed the thoughts of his heart. Ye shall consider it perfectly, which is in these times. I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken, yet they have prophesied. But yeah, because, they, because where you're reading from, uh, it's literally going into false prophets, yeah. mm -hmm. right? And their condemnation. Right. Go ahead. It right. says, But if they had stood in my counsel Jeez. and had caused my people to hear my words. Because that's what it really comes down to. Mm -hmm. It comes down to the correction of our people. Okay. Even though we're not gonna we're not gonna obtain the righteousness of all representation of the two-thirds we're only going to be able to to, to to gauge or to teach the, the, uh, the elect and the one-third that's it that's it it says then they should have turned them from have millions of followers what's going on yeah brought us away where's peace on earth <laughs> you guys still never obtain peace on earth yeah <laughs> with all the Where's peace on earth? If that's all it takes, if this is all it takes, where's peace? They all swallow. Yeah. Where's peace? You know the man ran through the whole church and just did this. That's easy. Imagine that's all we had to do. If that's all we had to do, would be good, man. But it said that we were sent onto a stiff neck nation, a nation that will not hear the law. So if you think that this is gonna do it, you're bugged out. I wish, and you have some men who are, are are skillful with the word. Oh. And still some people come up and they're just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Or they'll walk past the camp and they'll be like this. Mm -hmm. la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk people. There's, there's billions of Christians in the world, there's billions of Muslims, yeah. you know, quote unquote, fastest growing religion. Con. Why is there no peace on that, right? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if that, if they were a real religion, so to speak, um, the, the scripture says about the, the gospel and the gospel circle the, the whole earth, that that's when the end. That's the end. Yeah. Yeah. And time, and time. <laughs> it's not the circle of the earth from yeah. since right. before we were born. Right. 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 That's God. what they used to talk for the world, right? God. Nothing God. happened. God. Right. Nothing. Four corners of the earth. That's it. More division. Yeah. He says, then they should have turned them from their evil way. Hey, and just God. like it did us. God. Just like it did the men of the Lord. Just like it's just like it's doing the men that are on the highways and the byways, because you have to understand, a lot of the men who are on the highways and the byways were not righteous men in the world. Gone. They were unrighteous men doing a lot of unrighteousness. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Yes. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. It says, ahead. and from the evil of their doings, am I a power at hand? Save the Lord. 
and not Yahweh afar off? Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Saith the Lord. Do not I fill heaven and earth? Saith the Lord. I have heard what the prophet said that prophesies lies in my name, saying, I have I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesies lies? Yeah, and one of them is TD Jakes, one of them is TD Joshua. Mm -hmm. Right? And guess what? These men are all multi-millionaires. Right. So mm -hmm. you people brought the fruits of your labor to the wrong people. <laughs> no you yeah, uplifted yeah, yeah. men that yeah. were all unrighteous. Mm -hmm. Men who were committing evil against the Most High. Evil. Uh, I, I was actually talking to a brother about that, but pretty, pretty much these people need to be given their, you know, their um tithes to the men of the Lord, man. The elders, people, yeah, to the elders. You know what I mean? You know? If a lot of those men who are running mega churches, they stop making money, they would never prophesy. What makes you a man of the Lord or a hopeful elect is that even during your hard times, even during losing your home, during losing your family, guess what you're still doing? Still you're still the preaching Lord. the word of the Most High. That's it. These men, they have everything that life could give them, and that's the only reason that they're preaching Jesus. Ah, yeah. They're all prosperity pimps, man. Yeah, that's true. Preach Jesus. That's true. They got rich off of that. They got rich off of it. Right. Mm -hmm. It says, um, Yea, they are prophets of the seat of their own heart, <laughs> which think to cause my people to forget my name by their dreams. Hey, and can I tell you something? You Israelites, man, you make it so easy to deceive you. Even us, even us, even if we wanted to use you bugged out is yeah. Israelites, we could. Yeah. It's so easy to deceive yeah. you. You, you, you Jakes don't even make it hard, man, <laughs> to get right. money and to use right. you and to have sex with your daughters <laughs> and to just do all manners of wickedness, man. <laughs> you make it so easy, man. You just bring your daughters to unrighteous men. Like, here you go. Yeah. Hey, yeah, praise yeah. God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Oh, God is with you. God. Yeah. What do you think I'm going to do? Yeah. Praise the Lord. And that's how you know. That's how you know. The gift of the Spirit is so special because what we would have to use is things on the outer. You know, dress nice. Yeah. Talk a certain way, yeah, yeah. look a certain way. These are things on the exterior, mm -hmm. because someone can talk roughly, but if you if you search what they're uh, saying and if you watch the spirit, these are righteous men. Exactly. Right. But someone who talks nicely and elegantly, softly, you love the hero. Oh my gosh! But then you look at him, what he's doing. This guy is. So it's 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 a it's a it's, it's spiritual discernment. So yeah, kind. Of. So that shows that yeah. the majority of Israel does not have spiritual discernment. Okay. Exactly. They don't have that. That's exactly what it is. They don't have that's exactly what it is, brother. They're not, and that's what we've taught you, brothers. Because you have to understand, not every man is a leader. Some of you brothers, because remember, Israel is what? What are we represented she, as? She, We're represented as sheep. Yeah. So you are a follower by nature, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. But we're teaching you men how to be men because that's what the scriptures told us. So we're teaching you how to be like the church of Berea. It would, it would have been easy for us to just be like, yo, just be followers. Don't, don't ask questions. Just shut up. But we don't tell you brothers that. We tell you brothers to question us. We tell you brothers to check us. That's the power that you have in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. You have That's power right. to check your elders if they're going off God. in the spirit. That's right. That's right. That's right, man. There's no respect of persons. Kind, kind, Colossians. Yeah. You got something real quick? Pretty quick. Yeah. Um, basically, you were just saying um, First Corinthians two verse fourteen. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. Exactly. For they are foolishness unto wow. him. Mm -hmm. Neither can he know them. Wow. Because they are spiritually discerned. Isn't that what we were just talking about, Al? <clears throat> These people think that they're praising of God. The Most High can't even know you. 
You're not spiritually discerned, man. Right. Your mind is not acquisition in a way to understand how to serve a spiritual power like yeah. Yahweh. That's right. You don't know yet. Yeah. You don't know yet how to serve this type of power. You don't know. Right. What the heck? Yeah, that's heavy, man, because it says that the spiritual things are foolish unto them. One characteristic that always comes with the flesh is pride. So when you look at these, I'm thinking about these bossing guys, right? They split, or they, they the most high took them out, pulled them over to the side, mm -hmm. and now they're saying that he can forget it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in your mind, I mean the whole time, because mm -hmm. the whole time in, yeah. in, you, you were years in, when you heard the apostles talking about the heathen can't get it, mm -hmm. you had a pride to say, well, that doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Yeah. And that's spiritual. So pride is what makes it seem foolish on them. There was a blocker there. There was a blocker. Yeah. The angels didn't want him to get it. That's right. Mm -hmm. It fell up. The phony ground. Yeah. 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 They were also yeah. offended. They were offended. Yeah. They were offended. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Because and they they hit it like yeah. bitches. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's not like a man who's offended and you say, yo, yo, brother, he's taught. I don't like yeah. when you talk like that or I, I, I don't agree with that. Mm -hmm. They hit it in themselves. Yeah, right. Like a bunch of bitches. Yeah, right. You know, you know when your woman leaves you and then after <laughs> five years she's just like, Well, I never liked this about you. You kept that in you for five years. <laughs> I never said a word. That's a bitch trait. Yeah. That's not a man trait. You're gonna sit yeah. in that bitchiness for five years. Let it stoop. Are you crazy? I can't sit in that shit for two seconds. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I'm something. Saying so. Good. Yeah, yeah. It says, um, yeah, I got a precept from Gabar. Yeah, it says, um, verse, I started at 27. Which think to cause my people to forget my name mm. by their dreams, mm. which they tell every man mm. to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for a while. Now, deep. It's not just about people, like, on a, on a surface level, okay, the name isn't Yahweh. To the reputation, mm -hmm. and then the rank mm -hmm. that holds. Mm -hmm. The things that the Lord did in the past, mm -hmm. they're saying that He's not, He's not, He's not on, on worthy to get uh, uh, glory for those things. Wow, wow. You know, like you, know, you, you wow. imagine that you can, in our mind. The Most High and the Al Shai sitting up there, and you got pissed off. Do you know what Jake does for their name right now in this carnal world? Hmm. Right, right, right. right, right. Jake right. will kill you for their rep, yo. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Put some respect on my name. Exactly. <laughs> but you want to teach a reputation of Jesus. Exactly. And you're saying the Most High has that reputation? You're going to put that reputation in the book? Because there's really only one true power. Cause. So you're, when you say. Con of the sun. Con, you're putting a pedal. Con, you know, con, con, con. The whole world. A reputation that doesn't fit the Alashadja. You know what I mean? There's no exactly. Doesn't even match him. Right. And then when you go into the Hebrew, when when Moses was when Moses was talking to the Lord, it said. I was known by God Almighty in the Hebrew, al mm -hmm. And it says, I wasn't well known by Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's right. I knew that name at that yeah. time. At that time. That's right. It's the same thing. But what's, what's, what's heavy is that the majority. Exactly. So he exactly. can play around. Yeah, exactly. Play around. So exactly. he, he, he's more on the side of fucking you up so yeah. you can respect him That's right. than give you that great for a little bit. That's right. For a little select few. Yeah. And what, what was always known from the beginning was that he was a God of Abraham. Right. 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 It was always a line. Yeah, from he's right. saying, okay, I only rock with these yeah. people. Mm -hmm. I deal with them. Before, yeah. before, before yeah. Jacob, he said, I only rock with Abraham. Right. Yeah, that's right. Was, like, and yeah. then he said, I only Come rock on. with Isaac yeah. and Abraham. Right. Right. So there was always a thing. Yeah. He never yeah. said, I rock with Edom. You guys right. can go in the blue letter. Yeah. Yeah. Go in the blue letter and, and go and search. When has it ever said, the God of Edom? Mm -hmm. 
Right. Because when you figure out the God of Edom, it's going to say some other gods. Gods. Yeah. gods. gods. And it's going to say yeah. a small G. Long is it going to put the small G? Yeah, that's yeah. where they got the class from. Fine. The Santa class. Yeah. Mm. Long nose boy. Mm. Yeah. Says so verse 28. The prophet that has dream and let him tell a dream, and he that has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Mm -hmm. What is the shaft to the wheat? Says the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Is not my word like as fire, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces? That's Yahweh Shai, man. He's going to be the rock that's going to break the hammer. Is that, is that the hammer of the earth? Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's going to break the hammer to pieces, man. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right, right. That stole. Yeah. Therefore, behold, I am against the prophets, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, that stealeth my words, every one from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophets say the Lord that use their tongue and say he saith behold I am against them that prophesize false dreams mm -hmm. say the Lord Yahweh and do tell them and cause my people to err by their lies wow. and by their light wow. likeness yet I sent them not nor commanded them therefore they shall not profit this people at all. Hey, you want to, to hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. You want to know what the biggest joke about all of this is? The majority of his prophets didn't even want to do this. So for all you <laughs> men that are like, yeah, I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. Oh, yeah, that, I was doing this. I was in the church at three years old, and I used to, my father. Mm. The, men, the, the men who serve, who, who serve Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai, they didn't even want this. Yeah. The majority of them didn't want this life. We were on a course for destruction, yeah. and we were okay with it. Okay, so this is uh, from Gabar, Gabar, and he put um, Ecclesiastes or the Sirach. Yeah, well, Ecclesiastes is around. Yeah, yeah. Ecclesiastes. 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 Okay, okay. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. Now there was found in a poor wise man. And and he, Saka, Saka, read it again. Ecclesiastes 9 and 15. Now there was found in it a poor wise man. And he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that saying for man. Mm -hmm. Verse 16. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. You know why? Because that wisdom, the not the, the wisdom of Yahweh Shimel Shai, it comes with correction. There has to be a change. Majority of you people in your harlot houses that you call churches, mm -hmm. you go there and all you have to do is be dumped in a, a, a bucket of water, Jesus, and you're good. Mm -hmm. Or you have to go and you have to quote unquote confess your sins to a damn pedophile and you're good. Mm -hmm. No, not when it comes to Yahweh Hashem Shai. You actually have to change, man. Mm -hmm. There has to be a change, and it has to be a mental change, and then this change has to change you in a way where you are a part of that body, mm -hmm. and you have to understand what that body is because it's living and breathing. You are one. That's why brothers will bring out scriptures. Brother will be like, yo, I have that scripture because that's the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit showing and proving. When brothers are on the highways and byways and they say something, and then the Most High shows them that, in reality, mm -hmm. brothers might make a lesson, and the lesson might come to pass the next day. And you're just like, I just made a lesson about this. Yeah, what the heck? And now this is in the news. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I got a quick piece up here. Look. This is a uh, cool quick Proverbs 15 and 10. It says, Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. Wow. 
and he that hated reproof shall die. Wow. Because rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. That's right. Mm -hmm. So when you don't want to be corrected, you're saying that you're already perfect. Mm -hmm. There is no in between. There is no, I'm kind of perfect, I'm doing all right. No, it's that either wicked or you're on the most high's good side. That's right. So when you say, when you buck up against being corrected, you tell the most high and the son that I'm already perfect. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm that's saying, why that I'm saying is, is that I'm yeah, saying, saying yeah. you can say that Chris that's is right. Say, that's right. For um, what? <laughs> like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, this is Proverbs 26 and 4. It reads, Answer not a fool according to his folly. Let me get this real quick. This is um, uh, Luke 5, verse 32. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners uh, to repentance. Uh, <laughs> so if you guys are already righteous, why are you here? Exactly. It's not, it's not, it's it's not for you, man. It ain't for you, man. You should have got beamed up like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Elijah, you should have got beamed up. Why are you here, man? Why are you here, man? Uh, shit. Uh, Lest less thou also be like unto him. Five, Proverbs 26. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, he's talking about someone on the highways, and like, like that was just said, you know, if he knows what he, what he claims he knows, all right, you're good. We're not here for you. <laughs> right? We're here for the, for the broken and feeble. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. That's right. Yeah. 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 So I guess, I guess we'll see the chariot? That's right. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, come. Come. Yeah. 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 No, that means he's supposed to know what we know. Because he's supposed to know the truth. Well, it's supposed to be better. Yeah, you know, way better. A hundred percent. Yeah, you're supposed to know yeah. it. Uh, that was it. Okay. okay, real quick, should we bring this up? Okay. And you got your go. This is Titus 3 and 10. A man that is a heretic after the first and second ammunition, hmm. reject. Mm -hmm. Right? So, like it said, don't answer a fool mm -hmm. unless he be wise in his conceit. You're mm -hmm. not supposed to go back and forth when you got the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if you're breaking it down once, mm -hmm. you still kind of, you know, because you know how the flesh is when you first hear the truth. You go twice, you're still not getting it. Okay, well, hey, you obviously have mm -hmm. the truth. Yeah, they you know, go ahead and set up the camp and do your thing. Mm -hmm. And they, they never do. Yeah, There's exactly. a lot of people that they always have this opinion and all these things, but they exactly. never go set up sh set up their shut up shop on a corner exactly. and preach what they know. Exactly. They want to come and tell us what we know. Yeah. We've been, you know, yeah. starting with our apostles and the elders, you know, on down. We've been doing this for years, man, decades. Right. Mm -hmm. And know? that's why the scriptures say they love to scoff. That's all they're doing. They're they love to the 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 become scoffers. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Come on, on that. Hey, let me get the the word. Uh, the word is. Um, Admonition, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, spell it A D M O N. Yeah, I T I O N. That's right. Yeah, uh, it says admonition mm -hmm. in act or action of admonishing, authoritative counsel, mm -hmm. authoritative or warning. <laughs> nah, nah, you don't got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> authoritative counsel. Yeah, that's right. I'm telling you what it is. That's right. Yeah. Just listen or move down the street. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. There'll be a time where you, where you see a camp, a GMS, and a, and a, a person comes and say, Ray, 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 oh, yeah, bro, let's go with this guy, man. Right. Yeah, let's pack up. This guy's a shoe, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's true. Yeah, other quick scripture. Huh. Going to that uh, word, the about uh, how it's going into it. Basically, like, one time it's true, you have to change. You know, like, if you don't change, and that, that spirit it will not hold on you. That's why those guys, the Catholic girls, the probates over there in Boston, that they fell out because they're trying to basically say other nations. Mm -hmm. This is coming out of the pocket for this book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 3. It says, uh, For forward thoughts separate from the Most High mm -hmm. and His power, but in his tribe reprove the unwise. Verse 4. For into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter, mm -hmm. nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. So you know, it might be this truth, you know, you might, 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 might do the work for a few years, but ultimately, you know, if you're not right, the spirit will sit you on, man. Yeah, you right. Can, you, can, you can't take it. That's true. You can't take it to, to other men, but how about him, Shai, tries the spirit. You know, he knows like, if you think or not. Right. So, you know, eventually, you know, in, 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 like, all this uh, rebelliousness will, will, be, will, will, be, will be checked out, man. Yeah, yeah you know what? It says that wisdom will not go into a body. Yeah. 
that's subject to sin. Come, come. And that's spiritual because all our bodies are subject to sin. Mm -hmm. So what does it really say? It's saying that you have to change. Mm -hmm, yeah. You have to grow. You have to be. You can't be the same man you were in the truth the first year in your fifth and tenth year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there are also, or else that the living water is not in you. Mm -hmm. Not at all. It has. It's living. Yeah, yeah, it's true. always flowing. It's growing. It's yeah. something that lives, grows. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. And and the fakers are going to be like a straight man in a gay club. And if you're straight and you go to a gay club, <laughs> they're going to know that you don't belong here. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill, 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 chill. All right, all right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Man, I'm here drinking. I don't want to drink. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to grab your butt too. All right, all right, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. You, you can only fake it for so long. Because right. right? they will approach you. I, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Fresh meat. I don't with it. It's yeah. a spiritual yeah. thing. It's, they, it's they a know. spiritual they know. thing. They know. Exactly. Yeah, they know. They know. Yeah. So, keep going. I was proud to say that for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. It will not abide when unrighteous cometh uh, when unrighteousness cometh cometh in. Right. For wisdom is a loving spirit and it will not acquit the blasphemer of his words. Close, close. For the most high is witness of his reigns and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. Yeah, yeah break it down. Yeah, come so ultimately, you know, like you know, I go into like, you know, ultimately, you know, if you pray, you know, you might you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shema Shai, knows who's for him and who's not. Okay, and like, you might, you know, you might try to fake it, like, you know, other men might not say it, but eventually, everything comes out. But tell the scriptures, there's nothing hidden that shall not, that shall not be revealed. That's there's nothing covered that shall, uh, shall come uncovered. That's true. Yeah, these so-called, uh, so-called, uh, they believe, uh, they could be Jewish people. You know, they, they came out, you know, they actually have the animals that under the their own master. Yeah, that's yeah. you know? The Ninja Turtles. Yeah, the Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, the the of the good or rats. So you see what he's talking about. They uh, came on saying the reason yeah, why that's yeah, there yeah, is yeah. because they want to worship. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, on the and they want to allow them in after hours, so they want to do it. Come on, yo, man. get out of here. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> thing, you know? and that's one thing we know is a lot <laughs> because the ones that are here in Toronto, mm. they worship whenever they want yeah, to. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I'm, in, no, I, I'm in that area all the time, yeah, 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 right? In that their area, Avenue and Lawrence and all of that, on Baptist. Up there yeah. all the time, yeah. where they have the command post, the police are there, yeah. posted yeah. up now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, they, yeah. When they go to their worship, mm -hmm. they do whatever they want to do at any time, man. Mm -hmm. Nobody could bother them. Nobody. Uh, it's true. Any time. Right behind yeah. jungle. Yeah, right yeah. behind jungle. Mm -hmm. Six. Right behind jungle. <laughs> 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 Six verse of Akshar. Yeah. Uh, this is Salaman 1 verse 6 and it says, For wisdom is a loving spirit and it will not acquit a blasphemer of his word, for the most high is witness of his reigns. Exactly. And you have to understand that what those men were saying, or no, forget what they were saying. What they were trying to do was blaspheme in the, 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 the uh, Most High's power. Uh, because if the Most High wanted to bring all nations in, that would be that would be easy. You know, easy that would be for the most high to just be like everyone is righteous or everyone has a place of repentance. How easy would that be? But then, all the years of work, righteousness goes through Shem, mm -hmm. or righteousness goes through him. You're gonna go through all. You're gonna try to undo all the thousands of years of that. Who the hell are you? I mean, it will change. It was a seed. Yeah, I mean, it will change up. Most yeah. doesn't change. Well, the famous, famous one says, you only am I known of all yeah. the children mm -hmm. of the earth. The earth. Mm -hmm. You already lost in the garden. Because in the garden, the Most High wasn't dealing with everybody, just in the garden. Mm -hmm. And then, cool. Okay, we get it. Everybody was destroyed. What about after the flood? Mm -hmm. What about after the flood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who did the Most High deal with after the flood? Noah. Come on, man. Noah, Abraham, and Isaac. Simple and plain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, this whole thing is a movie. And like, uh, that's like, basically, like, at some extent, Actor trying to tell the director or, or the, you know, the producer of the movie how to how to how to make the movie. Yeah, can't. No, you can't do that. Many you, know, you get fired. <laughs> when you ask know, what happens, is they write them out of the script. That, that's all they do. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, they yeah, die. They die. The next episode. And then yo, know, you as the watcher, you're just like, yo, what happened to that character? Yeah, yeah. I, like I like that. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah. 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 Why did she interpret her? Like, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. 
<laughs> and then it says, I finish it off. Um, it says, For the Most High is a witness of his reign and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. That's right. The Most High knows your thoughts and yeah. he hears every, your idle words, man. Mm -hmm. so when you speak in blasphemy, the Most High is going to sit you out, man. He knows already. Yep. Well, that's what the creature was made, so there's a vanity. Christ. So them thoughts that happened, guess what? That was that was your part to say. That was your part to act up, man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was a trip. Everybody was more says, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You know when uh, Kanye West went on TV and he's like, uh, uh, Bush doesn't like black people. Yeah, yeah. He went off script. Yeah. So sometimes people go off script and it's like, yo, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You guys are going off script. Yeah. 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 Cut the TV. Yeah. 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 What the heck? Pull it. Pull it. That's right. Man's off script. I was watching a video of a girl. She must have talked about her husband. What? Missing one. He got criminal. And the camera was still rolling. And she's like, is this still. Filming and it was still filming, but she already blabbered out her mouth saying, I don't care if he goes to jail. Then start talking to him. And, and, it was, <laughs> and when she heard about the camera still rolling, she's like, Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just mm -hmm. want to give thanks that my husband make it home and he's safe. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that shows you this place is just full of actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's just full of actors. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah man. Give it to Oscar. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Matthew 12 and 36, but I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 That's right. Because it's not what goes into a man's mouth, it's what comes out. So you've got to be very careful because you have to understand that's destruction, not upon yourself alone, but upon others, man. Mm -hmm. You're misleading people. That's right. Man. Right? That's complete wickedness, <clears throat> man. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I think it worked, brother. You said exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I heard you. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Never came out my mouth. <laughs> 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 that we could ask Fat um, Jake Fatman. Yeah. You know, I, I put mm. over the port by the DM. Yeah, come. Yeah, 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 it's how you guys say Craft Craft dinner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You see that one right here? That's just the yeah. yeah. Pork, small corn smoke. That, that's yeah, man. That's, that. that's leading our see. own people to, to destruction. Pork yeah. smoke. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Leading our people to, to no. die. You know what, though? The Lord, the Lord, no. you know, like we're talking about movies and directors and actors. Mm. That's their role. Yeah. You know, and um, they're set up to, to, to convince other people that think like them. Yeah. So they can be, you know, because that guy, I believe he was paid off. God, you yeah. know, yeah. you can tell. Anything you know, do with that, yeah. you know, like you call upon you, how you, how shy, and you're important. Yeah. You're important at the table. You know, you. Oh, look at that two third of the world not doing that. Some of those guys, a lot you're of those guys. So true. Yeah. yeah. You, like, not, you know, like in his life, you'll eat it, but you're not yeah. gonna say how much shy. Yeah. 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 At least, like, wait, yeah. you gotta remember, no. that. remember, that. Uh, Ahab. I was like, we're gonna deceive him. Yeah. We're gonna be like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm gonna life spread in his mouth. God, <laughs> so yeah. so go, then go do it then. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. This is Second Chronicles 16 and 2. And it reads, For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh yep. run to and fro throughout the whole earth right. to show himself the strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect. Right, so the brother just read, he read Jeremiah 23, yeah. according to the, uh, uh, the pastors, yeah. right? Yeah. Because they think they're, they're, they're perfect, right. but little do they know they're going against the scripture, they don't follow it, they're doing wickedness. Yeah. They think they're like, okay, nothing's going to happen to me because I'm the man of the Lord, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, they're, doing, well, they're doing it perfectly. <laughs> huh? They're being perfectly wicked. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Right. Right. And another point there, too, it says the angels run to and fro. Yeah. To show themselves strong mm -hmm. on the behalf of them that fear the Lord. Uh, it says, For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself as strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect. Right, so that's divine intervention for the Lord. Like Peter, when he was locked up, the angel came and took him out of the jail, 
because the angel knew that his heart's towards the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the angels are constantly moving back and forth, instant transmission, or you know, just and, and doing things for the elect every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's Street. brother. If yeah. any brother can sit here and said that they were delivered mm -hmm. from whatever yeah. iniquity or whatever judgment, yeah. that means you're not really in this thing, man. Yeah. That's right. right? Sometimes a lot of you brothers don't have certain things because your your whatever quote unquote blessing was used on them protecting your life. Exactly. They protected your life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You could have been dead. So you yeah. use whatever you had on them saying, oh, shoot, he's going to do this. Oh, mm -hmm. save him from that, man. Right. Right. right? You can't watch another brother. Another brother might be comfortable in the truth. Yeah. And you're struggling because you got saved. Your whole life got saved, man. Right. Yeah. These angels are working, man. I see yeah. it every day, man. Yeah. I see it every day, man. And that's just what it looks like to your eyes. Hey, God. Hey, that's just like Kazak always brings on, he always says, yo, just driving down the road. A tire. Done. There's yeah. tires that drop off cars that kill people, that, man. Yeah. Hey, when they come oh, under the yeah. track, it goes faster. Yo. Yeah. It goes yeah. done. Yeah. It goes yeah. faster. Yeah. You're done. You just yeah. never yeah. know. Hey, yeah. man, we're in a time where yeah. in everything you do, you got to pray. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. everything. Everything. You can't. 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 Well, they're going crazy. Like, See what? For today? No, 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 See, I didn't even know that, man. And, and, hey, and what, what saved us from that? This truth. Right. Yeah. Being yeah. here and doing this. Of course I would have been there. I would have been there. Come on, mom. Over there, the little two gal, go to the movies. That's right. Come on. Maybe they're shopping right now. I'm going out tonight. Yeah, come on. Take a new outfit. That was your last outfit. Witchcraft brands. Yeah, you know. So sweet, yeah. Brands, man. Dead from the birthday. Three weeks ago, there was a guy who got killed, and he was on his birthday. And he went out and got ready. Look what happened. Hey, was he thinking about that? Is that is that Tommy? Is that Tommy? Is that the sun? And the Jake woman on New Year's. I see the wickedest one. Second Chronicles 16 and 9. For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect towards him here in. Break it down. Break it down. Here, um, Start again. Yeah, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro, so mm -hmm. the heavenly Father, the angels are yeah. work 24 7. Right, see who's yeah. doing the, the, the work perfectly yeah. according to him. You know, like we have uh, uh, the guys wearing purple. He knows, he knows the name of the Heavenly Father, mm -hmm. but he's not being truthful to his people, mm -hmm. right? And as, as Lord Allah says, going into the, into, into the street, the man who was pushing for the truth is mm -hmm. right in every, every continent. Yeah, right there. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Mark in there. Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Yeah, recording. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. Because every day we know we, 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 we put the, these are the, these are the um, uh, epistles um, mm -hmm. uh, via the internet. Mm -hmm. You know, right. it's not being written on anymore. We, we, we're doing via the internet. And, and, and messenger, the word angels, one of the messengers. Mm -hmm. And we're pushing this message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's the spirit that's contained in the word that we're speaking that's doing that for all kinds. And guess what? This is going into the spiritual cloud, man. The most high is saving all of these these videos, man. Because when the internet goes out, the elect is, we're going to be able to play this back in the kingdom, man. For the rest of the Israel to see, you know, the two thirds that come back, they're going to see, oh, those guys were putting in work from time, from. You know, just like how you're the scribes mm -hmm. writing, so we can see the scribes, right? Um, so uh, so the well, no, but, but that's what he just said, uh, not, mm -hmm. brother. Read it again with the eyes of the Lord Yahweh. Uh, that's, that's documented, yeah. that's documented yeah. real life right in, in, in 6K or 8K, yeah, yeah. Yeah. whatever you the guys the highest resolution, the highest resolution, yeah, literally, the highest, yeah, right? Because, because in the day of judgment. The people's sins who haven't been blotted out are going to be broadcasted. It's right. going to be shown. Mm -hmm. They're going to be shamed. A lot of people, they're going to be shamed in that day, man. Their sins, because there's a day of judgment for everyone. Mm -hmm. And that's why brothers say, oh, the hopeful, like, oh, we're hoping that our sins are blotted out. Because right. we all have sins. Yeah. Right? <laughs> right? We just hope that ours is blotted that's out. Right. 
is herein thou hast done foolishly. Hey, and the reason why those men's sins are going to be blotted out as well is because those men have the fear of the Lord. You people, imagine you just blot out a, a wicked nigga's sins. He's going to be there in the day of judgment laughing. <laughs> got away. <laughs> no. A righteous man is going to be there trembling like that. Yes. Oh, yes. And, and then, you know what? Like, slack about it. You know, yes. it, it all boils down to how shy again because the sacrificial system, mm -hmm. you have the, sacrifice, the blood of that animal would cover mm -hmm. your sins. Yeah. So <clears throat> those men being blotted out is because they're covered by the bloody house shot. Exactly. So, not by their own righteousness. Not by their own righteousness. No. Hey, just to the, the brother, uh, how he's mentioned him, you know, we see that with this entertaining, soaking, uh, shit about other, other people. Mm -hmm. You don't want to stop talking. Like they're righteous. No, yeah, right. 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 Like, con. Like perfect. Con. Right? Con. Yeah. It says, uh, Here in thou hast thou foolish life, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have worth. Right? Yeah. Right. Any other precepts? Uh, I was going to read uh, Jeremiah 23 and 1, but. Yeah, you could. You could bring yeah. You could change the script. Yeah. It's going back into the past, right? Which is the, which is the spirit of the Most High. Mm -hmm. The spirit of the Most High is exposing pastors, so there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of these pastors are being exposed, and that's a righteous thing. Right. Because all our people are, are, are caged in those holes. That's where our people are. You want to know where our people are? They're in, they're, they're in trapped in those places, man. The whorehouses. The whorehouses. That's where our people are, man. Our mothers, our grandmothers, yeah. right? And you wicked men that follow behind women. That's where you are. Because yeah. Yeah. you get a lot of pussy over there. I'm sorry if you don't like it. Yeah. There's a lot of pussy in church. Go ahead. Actually, I'm going to start here real quick. And I'm going to jump back to 23. Um, this is Jeremiah 23, verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy unto you. They make you vain. They speak a vision of their own heart and not out of the mouth of the Lord. They say still unto them that despise me. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, has said he shall have peace and they say unto everyone that walketh after their imagine after the imagination of his own heart right. no and evil shall come up upon you right <laughs> so they're saying no jacob's trouble yeah come you're gonna be good yeah come on you know, the poison <laughs> guard was fine yeah come on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean People, right. people were taking the poison dart at the ch at the churches. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But even within, even within yeah. Israel, though. God, yeah. God, oh yeah, God. Oh, God. They, they, yeah, 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 those yeah, guys yeah. were saying, go oh, yeah, take yeah, yeah. it. God, God, God. God. Go, no, yeah. even yeah. within Israel, they're telling you, no Jacob's trouble. Mm. Now, if those of you that no watch, exactly, those exactly, no karagma. Well, those of you that sorry, but those those of you that watch, no. you want to know how you know a prophet is teaching from his own heart. If you can't find it in the scriptures, mm -hmm. that's how you know it's coming out of his own heart. Mm -hmm. Or if you find it in the scriptures and you read another scripture, and the understanding that that prophet gave you makes you look at the precept as if they're contradicting each other, mm -hmm. and they don't do that. Mm -hmm. Everything right. was lined up. Mm -hmm. That prophet was teaching from his own heart. That's right. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and has perceived it? You read it, brother. Uh, this is verse 18. Jeremiah 20. It says, For who has stood in the council of the Lord, the Haushai, and has perceived and heard his word, who has marked his word and heard it? That's the Haushai. Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord is gone forth in fury, even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. That's right. Well, uh, you're right, mm -hmm. uh, Yahweh Shai, but it all also goes into the men, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which is uh, First Peter's. Uh, somebody, did somebody get that one? What's that again? First Peter's. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it either first? Or first first yeah. yeah, something like that. Either first or second Peter's yeah. one, and somebody, you get it, brother. You know what I'm talking about. Keep, no, I'll keep reading, uh, uh, buddy, I'm in a lot of and that, that, that's it, it right there, but I'm going to jump to 23. Okay, then wait then. Yeah. Hold on, before you jump, let's get this one quick. Is it, does it go like, for as much as the no 
Oh, verse 19, right? 19. What does it say? Well, with the precious blood of Yahweh Shai. No. Okay. So then it's going to be uh, Second Peter's. Okay. Two, you said, or one? One. One. Sure. One. So it says, we have also a more, yeah. We yeah, have that's also, it. Time, time. Verse uh, Second Peter, Second Peter is one and nineteen. We also have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. And we understand. Right. Listen, we understand that it's hard to take the words that were in, take the words that were sent in as righteousness because of all these unrighteous people that are around you that right. Brother Bunyaman just read. You know about all these unrighteous prophets that have come and lied and deceived. And a lot of people are tired of the church, man. <laughs> and they did that on purpose, man. They did that on purpose for people to be, to fan their hands and be like, yo, fuck the truth. Yeah. Fuck God. That's what he did. Yeah. They did that on purpose. Yeah, Strip the yeah. flesh off of them. Exactly. Yeah. Right? Strip the flesh, the sinews. Now you're back to that bone state. You can make it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because remember, we sh we we were prophesied to come last. Mm -hmm. So we had the hardest job on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. We came last when after the people were destroyed. Mm -hmm. And now we're coming with the same word, but we're telling them, no, listen, we yeah. got the truth. Right. But they've heard it so much times. That's why they say, oh, it's been written by so many other people. Con. Con. The white man has changed. Con. Con. You know, you're they're destroyed. They're tired. Yeah. Destroyed, man. I have the word inflation. Off. Right. Corpse or carcass. That's what our people went through. Right. Yeah, con. The church. Yeah. Right. yeah, that's what they went through. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse. No, 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 there was more. Yeah, there was oh, more. Yeah, there was more, brother. So it says, I'll read it again. It says, um, verse 19, 2 Peter 1. Mm -hmm. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. And onto a light that shineth in a dark place, on until the day dawn, and the day star ariseth in your heart, in your hearts. Mm -hmm. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of any private interpretation, which is what you just broke down, right? Right. right? That's right. Keep going. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but by ho but holy men of Yahweh, by Shem Shai, spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. And if you don't know that you're being moved by the Holy Spirit to speak these words, I don't know what to tell you. I know it feels surreal to be a part of the movie. It's like when I listen to you brothers... Uh, videos, right? Because sometimes I'm tasked to listen to you brothers' videos mm -hmm. and to see where you brothers started from five years ago. It's surreal, mm -hmm. but that's the spirit of the Most High that's moving within you and making you you push for truth, man. Right. This is not this is not real. This is surreal, man. Con, con, con. In righteousness, right, right. right? So this is all by the spirit of the Most High, man. That has elevated the brothers' minds. In the spirit of truth. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's good to say glory unto glory. Con. That was it on that. That was a lot. That was a chapter. Let me, let me get uh, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, right. saith the Lord in the And that starts within the inner court. Those that know the name. Exactly. Even if you don't call upon it, but you know the name. And those that call themselves to be Israelites, that right. spreads out to the other court, T D Jakes and all these guys. That's you right. Know. He says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, Yahweh of Israel, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord. Yahushai, and I will gather the remnant of my flock out of the all countries whither I have driven them, and I will bring them again to their folds. Yeah, because visitation comes with truth, right? Mm. What, what, what's a representation of the visitation in the truth? 
is Paul. Paul was a perfect representation because he went all throughout Asia Minor. He went to the Corinth. He went to, that was visitation. And when he went there, did he go there on no nice shit? Right? Just like it says, uh, for, for, for um, somebody get that one about Samuel. I know you brothers know where it is. That says, they asked Samuel, they said, yo, do you come here for good? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They shook when he came. Yeah. They shook when Samuel came. It wasn't no niceness when Samuel came, right? right. Don't forget what happened when they called uh, uh, um, the prophet Ballhead. Little kids called the prophet Ballhead. Yeah, what yeah. happened to them, man? Yeah, this show. This show. Yeah, this show, yeah. This is not. This is not a joke, man. I'm sorry that the people that are on your TV uh, uh, um, uh, uh, deceived you, man. But the prophets are not people that joke around, man. That's right, that's right. And the reason why they don't joke around is because. When they get the truth, the truth upsets you because you can't believe yeah. how wicked our people yeah. are, man. Yeah. So yeah. you're in an angry spirit, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's crazy yeah. because it says uh, oppression makes a wise man, man mad. mad. Yeah. So, and they have the spirit of their father on them. That's right. You know, through Yahweh Shai. So they're vexed too. Hey, what did the angel do to Ezekiel? He brought him up by his oh, lock and that. showed him. All yeah. the wickedness that's us spiritually, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Down what these entertainers are doing, and now you people are coming and giving us yeah. little drip drops and yeah, telling yeah, us, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do do this. Yeah. Now we're like, <laughs> you know, we already know that. Yeah. Even Bab's been yeah. exposing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm done. Right. I'm done. I'm done. Right. Right. And Bab's exposing you. What do you think they've been doing? Exactly. That's it. Yeah, yeah. All day, for the glasses. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, Chronicle yeah. showed yeah. us a lot, man. Yeah. He showed her the inner workings mm -hmm. of that wickedness. Yeah. Yeah. Their gods, yeah. the different codes, and the, 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 the different uh, symbolisms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got it, Samuel, quick. Okay, you got it. Here, go ahead. First Samuel 1, uh, Six, yeah, it's, uh, 16 and 4. So like yeah. It. Yeah. And Samuel did that which the Lord Yahweh spake and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming and said, Comest thou peaceably? And it said, and right. it said peaceably. But right. Yeah. And they didn't yeah. tremble, slightly, but they didn't tremble at the man Samuel. But they trembled because they knew that the Lord, <laughs> Allah <laughs> Shah, is young with this man. The yeah, you know, so we have, to, we have to make sure we understand how they yeah, move yeah, around yeah, this guy. Yeah. Because <laughs> the power that's behind him is going to destroy us. Exactly. Exactly. You know? Spirit, right? <laughs> Uh, Kabar brought up two precepts real quick before you go back to okay. yours. And this is um, Hebrews 8 and 7. It reads, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. For finding fault, we show you these, these Israelites that you know, cling on to uh, the Levitical priesthood. They don't understand yeah, uh, uh, they don't understand the scriptures. Really. Not at all. They don't understand the scriptures at all. Not at all. You know, because this was a thing of restoring Israel back to that godly state. Yes. Even better than what Adam had. Yes. Yeah. You know, and Adam yes. has had uh, the uh, he had uh, the Levitical priesthood, but it was just given and, and given orally. Yeah. Hey, but uh, the, the man Adam doesn't have that body anymore. Right. So why would we regard that? Is that right? He's in his new body. Right. So right. why would we regard an old Adam? Exactly. I'm not regarding that that sin. That's right. That man was <laughs> <Yeah>. a sin. <laughs> but you gotta remember that um, them guys don't respect Yahweh Shai. That's the card. Exactly. Exactly. They just found the spread of the book of Hebrews. That's right. right. That's right. right. Yeah, and that whole book as we're going through uh, shows you the importance of the, the second covenant. Which Apostle Bar said this, and he's, and he's absolutely right. The second covenant really is just the first covenant refreshed. Mm -hmm. And it's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so, because even for me, I, we're not we're not disrespecting Adam. Right. We're just saying, like, just like when we look back at our old selves, right. us in our new yeah. bodies, we're not right. going to look at our old self and with, yeah, I wish I could go yeah. back to that. Right. 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 I wish I was yeah, still. Better. You're better. Like, what? Yeah, it's just like this scripture says, oh, Adam became a living spirit. That I mean. A spirit, then a living. Then the second Adam became yeah. a quickening spirit. Up, that's, yeah. true. So that's true. So he can give you life. You life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's right. Very he true. has life and he can give it to wow. you. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 
Mm. Wow. Uh, okay, so it says here, For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Uh, and then he put uh, Zechariah 11 and 4. It says, 4 to 5. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter whose possessors slay them and hold them not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord Yahweh, for I am rich. <laughs> mm-hmm. And their own shepherds pity them not. Mm-hmm. That, that was the point the brother was trying to make. Right. Right? Because it went into the, the, the wickedness of Esau right. on how Edomites think about us, how low you are to an Edomite. Uh, I'm sorry to let you know, but. Uh, um, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 said that you will be sold unto your enemies. I'm sorry right. to let you know, that's not right. your friend. So <laughs> for all right. the people that that's think right. that you're friends with Adam's with the Edomites, uh, I'm sorry to break, uh, bust your bubble. Yeah, they, you you really and truly cannot be friends with somebody you're supposed to rule over. Right? That's right. It just can't work. Yeah. Even yeah. if they are cool. Because yeah. you have to understand, we were raised up. Yeah. For you people yeah. who were in chattel slavery, because not all Israel was in yeah. chattel slavery. Some of us were in Europe ruling, living right. in Regal, right. while you guys were picking cotton. Mm-hmm. And for you people picking cotton, you were raised up with Edomites, and you were cool with Edomites until it was time for that Edomite to go to school. Mm-hmm. And when that Edomite had to go to college or university mm-hmm. or whatever he had to go do, then he started looking that. at you as a nigga. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you guys were cool. You yeah. guys were friends, mm-hmm. you were raised together. Mm-hmm. You guys were chilling, you played. You guys were the best of friends. Oh, yeah. But you stayed there picking cotton while he was gone starting life. Yeah. Right. Came back a new man. Came right. back a new man. <laughs> and that's why it's just lost and kept something. Right. No, 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 I'm saying he was a, he was a friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't know because children are like innocent. Yeah, that's right. right? That's how you know that um, this boxing thing. The 13 monkeys that. Monkeys, they, um, they want to fit in. You're trying to say, because you just made a great point that you can't be friends with people you're supposed to rule over. So you're saying the heathens. So you just want to fit in with the heathens. It's not like a general it's, witness. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You want to fit in with the heathens. You don't want to rule over the heathens. You want to fit in with them. It goes for men that want power. Mm-hmm. If you want power, even in this state, you're yeah. not going to be friendly with all, all men. That's right. That friendly spirit is not a man who has authority over other men. Right. Because men will, 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 will judge you right. based upon what they see you do when, yeah. you're, when you're in that friendly state. That's right. Something I read a while back was that um, oh, a, a man that's a friend to everybody is an enemy to himself. Right. Right. So you're not being true to yourself. No. You're not saying that you're going to be enemies with, like, even, like, with brothers within the camp. So the, brother, gonna, the brotherhood is a safe space. Yeah, you're yeah. not going to be enemies yeah. with brothers in the camp, but you're not going to be best friends with everybody. No, I can't be right. like that. I can't. You can't know what I mean? That. But especially people in the world, you can't be friends with everybody in the world, man. Well, especially yeah, us being in this truth. You know what I mean? That's, a, that's going to be a disservice unto you. Yeah. People pleasing and all that shit. They that's like exactly what that. it goes down to. You know? exactly. That's the point. The you know? point yeah. is people pleasing. Exactly. Then because is, then you're going to be... Uh, um, you're going to be... Right. You know, you're serving right. your masters. You're, you know, you're not going to have time to serve. You're about shit, y'all shy. You're busy focusing on if you're making sure everybody in the world is cool it's and cool. good with you and so yeah, true. You know? and most Making, jealous, you know? Yeah, you know? not to say you can't, whatever, but I'm just saying, you know, you gotta put the most high first. He's yeah. a jealous power. Yeah, yeah. But we yeah. bounce it though. Don't, don't start going in the world. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. No. You have to have balance and and, and uh, how to move. You know what I mean? Right. Like, Armistice is a dub. Apostle Gahan said that he's called your. He said he works with Edomites and he's cool with them. Of course. But he his mind, you know. That day. He said mo. <laughs> the person said he, 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 he does Uber sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mo is a mo. Hey, what's up, Ted? Like, yeah. Yeah, damn mo. Hey, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> you know, hey, damn mo. Yeah. No, no, no. No, never. Because <laughs> yeah. you know what? The scriptures say, the scriptures say, be peaceful with all men. Yeah. Be peaceful with all men. Beautiful. And then it says, and it also says, he, if, if the Lord 
when the Lord, uh, when the Lord, when the man's way pleases the Lord, he makes his friend and his, his enemies. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. So if you're pleasing the Lord, you're using wisdom. Yes, sir. You're using yeah. wisdom. Yeah, that's it. And that's why a woman is calm with him more sometimes. I mean, you know, it's because she's the enemy. Right. Yeah. 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 Please the Lord. Say, God, I'm going to chill out for you. Good, good, good. Give him a break today. <laughs> yeah. That's right. It says that, sir, that, that, that script is. Why is that a, um, as a serpent? Yeah. But that's Why what that but that's what it is. But a lot of men don't understand what that wise as a serpent means. Mm -hmm. It means to be on your P's and your Q's. Right? You're a warrior out in the world, mm -hmm. but you're not gonna attack people. You're a warrior mentally, you're a warrior spiritually. Mm -hmm. That means now you know how to go out into the world and you know how to read people. Mm -hmm. You read them like that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that you need to attack them. If a guy's a mole, he's a mole. Who cares? That's none of my business. But I know you're a mole. Yeah. I know what yeah. you worship. I know what you do. I already know everything about you. That's easy. You're easily dis I discern you so easily, mm -hmm. but you can't discern me. Exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Kind of smile with yeah. you. So yeah, yeah. 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 It's a, it, a good thing. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Exactly. exactly. Good thing, bro. They will never know my my stance well, yeah. uh, politically. Yeah. They will yeah. never know my stance yeah. uh, 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 spiritually. Uh, spiritually. Uh -huh. They'll never know my stance. Yeah. The heck? They're still asking about the Beetlejuice. juice. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh -huh. Real quick, this is uh, Malak brought this out. James four and four. Ye adulterers. And adulteress, adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? That's right. Yeah, and the friendship of the world, what that means is to be involved, because the scripture says to come out of her, my people. Right. But we can't come out of her physically. Mm -hmm. We have to come out of her spiritually. Mm -hmm. It means that we're not going to partake uh -huh. in the activities. Uh -huh. That's all that it means. Uh -huh. Right? right? So if they invite me to, LGBT, uh, uh, exactly, I'm not going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going to tell you my, my, my views on it. You know, it depends on something. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, you, know, you know, that's, that's what he does. You know how many, you know how many <laughs> women, you know how many women invite me to churches or they invite me to, 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 to get married? Oh, I'm not going to take part in their ceremonies. Yeah. Yeah. They're ceremonies of the world that I'm not going to take part of. That's right. That's right. And it says, um, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is, mm -hmm. the, is the enemy of Yahweh. That's right. 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 That's and they, they, they learn how to be respectful, yeah, yeah. but then they come back and they, they hate on their own brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're so looking true. up with Ishmael. Oh, yeah. Inshallah, Inshallah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. hear the government that they have over there. Yes, come on, Ishmael. But they would never put yeah. this on, though. Yeah. 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 You remember how much yeah, yeah. fight we got yeah. for this? Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, you guys are in justice. Yeah. But they'll go over there yeah. and they'll put on... Uh, and guess what? They're putting a garment that those people got from us. Yeah. Right. That's a dress code that's from us. You're so correct. He had on the red garment. Yeah. That, that was a dress. Yeah. That was a dress. Yeah. Yeah. That was a dress. Yeah. Yeah. The beautiful point you made is that when you're friendship with the world, it, that takes your energy. Yeah, yeah, or friendship yeah. with the Lord gives you energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, don't, you don't get involved in certain things. Right. 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 And that's, right. Like a, that's death. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, friendship with the world, the world is full of carnality. Carnality mm -hmm. is death. Mm -hmm. Death doesn't have energy. Yeah. It takes energy. Because uh, I remember the book came to the truth, like, you know, like, I would see other Jacks, you know, I would see them as, as enemies. Once came to the truth, like, you know, like, you know, like, I, I reserve my, my, my love towards, like, you know, my fellow, you know, like, my, yeah, the Jakes, and actually, like, I, then I, I started thinking the other nations, actually, I've actually seen myself in them. God. Exactly. Like, I was like, I was like, a Jake would understand, but you know, that's the name, you know, like, I don't know. Right. Uh, basically, I had that hatred towards it, because, like, yeah. I was, I was, I was, I was some, some image, and I didn't other people, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. And coming to the truth, like, you know, actually, you know, you're away from the spirit, you actually see that, you see your, your fellow brethren, you not know, yourself. So, you actually, you actually, and then, like, that hate, that, 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 Hey, what does it? What does the scripture says that his his um his uh, yoke is not? Oh yeah, my my yoke my yoke yeah. is light. Is light because yeah. when you go into all the 
like, like when we, me and this brother will go into the dark arts, do you know how much work that takes <laughs> to be a Luciferian? God, yeah, you know, <laughs> you know how much work it takes to be a Freemason? Yeah. You think that's easy? To be a 33 degree Freemason, you think that shit is easy? Yeah. That takes work. <laughs> that takes wickedness, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sacrifices. Sacrifices. The Most High is not asking for all of that. So yeah. this yeah. truth is actually a light burden. Yeah. Yeah. The man said, yo, rest on the Sabbath. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't eat pork. Yeah. Okay. Like he's not asking for nothing insane. So yeah. <laughs> so hard. Love your brother as I saw. Yeah, yeah. Your brother. Well, you know what? Um, uh, it tells you one. It tells you that the wicked they don't go to sleep unless they've done something. Mm -hmm. So they're always like you said. They're always working. Yeah, the man. Work they have to put in to do that. But then it also tells you that um, don't let the simplicity. Don't be beguiled. Don't let Satan beguile you with the simplicity in your own shot. Right. That's right. Because Satan will make you think think that you got to do more than what's really just right. That's required. Mm -hmm. you know hey, that's just required. like yeah. just like um the the the, the Muslims yeah. before. I forgot how much times did they used to pray. I, no, oh, no, 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 no. Before they before oh, they, um Muhammad they went up to heaven. Yeah. They had no, God for each day no, but yeah. before Muhammad went up to heaven on Pegasus right. on a horse. <laughs> And then asked, remember, he asked for the prayer to go down to five. Yeah. But they used to pray more. More than that. So that's this. Their yoke, their burden is heavy. And then, and then on top of that, we just have to fast. Like, you know, there's one holy day that we have to fast for a day, right? Come on. Yeah. They, they have to do it for a whole month. Yeah. Even though they're not even doing a whole 24 hours, yeah, come on. they're bummed out. Yeah. They're bummed out. They're yeah. like, yeah. They're yeah. like yeah. they're more righteous than the Israelites. Yeah. 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 You know? Fuck you guys. 15. 15. 15. Yeah. It was 50 oh, times a day. So the whole month. 50 times a day. Yeah, they're losing it. Yeah. 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 Back in the day, we have to roll like a car. And do that dance. And then Muhammad went up to heaven on Pegasus, and what he asked for was to come to pray himself. Father God. 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 Uh, worshiping the Lord all day. That's yeah. true. But yeah. you know what? That's true. Thinking about that, that's spiritual because, in 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 a sense, uh, Paul said that uh, the Holy Spirit makes intercession. God. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. can't like groanings that we can't utter. Yeah. So we're like, mm -hmm. if you're in the Spirit all day, you're constantly oh, like your yeah. the Spirit's already He's praying for you. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Always, you know? yeah. Of course. Wow. Real quick, let me get this um, based upon what you said, Matthew eleven and twenty eight. Uh, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, mm -hmm. and I will give you rest. Mm -hmm. So that's laden with the hell of it. It's like me and other doctrines. Exactly. Right? So come unto this truth, man. You're going to give you rest. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're not being Muslim no more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Five times a day, which is nothing wrong with praying. Yeah. Right, but 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 all the things that that's that are custom, it's gonna be heavy in your spirit, man. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah Khan, that's it's heavy like because in the world, <laughs> yeah, yeah, all of us, yeah, in yeah. some degree, oh, your spirit knew there was something yeah. off, mm -hmm. and you went to, you died into all these different things, but you never got that comfort where you're open open open. Open. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, open. Open. Yeah. exactly. That's right. So the rest comes from getting that comfort through the understanding. Huh? Yeah. Right. That means you don't have to be going out there looking for. Um, that what do you call it? All these different yeah, yeah, Go yeah, back yeah. to this. Go back to that. You know, right. you, you have the rest. Like, well, yeah, it's a rest of fear. And, yeah. Sandals and look, yeah, that we can choose that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah,
Somebody, go ahead. No, I'm just going to say that a lot of these people, you know that they don't have rest in their souls, even though they're dedicated to their so-called faith. Mm -hmm. You can see it in their eyes. Mm -hmm. They still have these problems, and they still don't have understanding to these problems. I train them every day. Mm -hmm. They believe in this and believe in that, and they tell me all kinds mm -hmm. of things. Like, I'm like, okay, but you know, this is your faith. It was your faith. Oh, well, my faith says this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and so, they come yeah. back with the same problem. Yeah. Yeah. But with, with us, we have a problem, a situation. We go to the scriptures, we get the comfort, it's closed. The book is closed. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. And you move forward. Yeah. You know? Yeah, what I was going to say is that this truth was made for your spirit as Israelite men. I don't think a lot of you understand that <clears throat> these laws, the Most High designed them to work. That's why when you go into certain faiths, like when in Christianity, Christianity just never sat well with you. Yeah. As an Israelite yeah, man, man, it doesn't sit well with you. Yeah. It, it neuters you yeah, yeah, yeah. as a man. It feminizes you mm -hmm. as a man. But that that doesn't work with your spirit, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It stops at one level. It stops at one point. Yeah. You know, it doesn't go... Further into like, like in church, it's like you're in a nice form fitting skirt, you can't yeah, look at her. Can't look. <laughs> or you can't look. Yeah. Yeah. But then, but then she's on the ground, legs yeah. open, yeah, doing yeah. the kundalini. Yeah. You cover, you cover your legs, yeah. you know what? <laughs> it's stupid. Stupid. Literally stupid. Don't make no sense. Yeah, it doesn't go deep. Man. In the skirt, man. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. If you don't have a man, she's single. Good to Simple. Go. Good to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I seen some some church people who used to. Die and go to church. They stop going to church on Sundays. I, I don't see them going to church no more. They, yeah. All day, so wake up every day. And, oh, man, I go to church. Man, I go to church. Mm -hmm. But you say the, the the truth is out there on the internet and it's hitting them. They're, they're learning something or, or they're seeing right. something. They're asking right. more questions. Well, they're like, yeah. yo, they're like, done with the church right now. Yeah, and yeah, I've been yeah. seeing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I've been seeing things like that happening. Yeah. Verse 30 says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hey, because just just in this hour, hour and a half, two hours, yeah. do you know how many scriptures the brothers have brought out? Mm -hmm. I was going to church my whole childhood mm -hmm. life. Yeah. Oh, they never brought out this much scripture yeah. in all those years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing yeah. in the church. Yo. Nothing <laughs> in the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. They're not making a stone. Yeah, God. Well, what did you say that again, brother? What did he say? He said it's best, best, best stuff. Yeah, yeah come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, in all those years. Yeah. It's true, though. Singing mm -hmm. dance. That's it. For, <laughs> but that's mainly for women, though. They yeah. teach you how to sing mostly at <laughs> fire practice, right? Bullshit. Yeah, that, that's all they mostly do is just stand up and sing all these <laughs> songs. I don't even know where they're getting most of them songs from. You know, they just be singing yeah. around. Yeah. Have, yeah. Have Meanwhile, we have songs and the yeah. and the psalms. Yeah. They don't. Use, they they only use nothing. just two. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. yeah. yeah. Rivers yeah. of Babylon, and that's it. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is the scripture like he that departed that way, but the time he shall learn the congregation will be very fine. This is all dead, really. Like, yeah. 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 That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a dead place. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. The most like do it in the temple is not with hands. With hands. And then, you know what? Yeah. How come they never went there? Right. Yeah. right. To, to, right. To, to, to top it so much, they got the Caesar Borgia picture. Exactly. That's like they got the Caesar Borgia <laughs> picture. Killer right Hans here Hans in the front. Yeah. Right yeah. when you go sit on. The white man Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes it's a predominantly black church, and the yeah. pastor's an Edomite. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I see that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see that as well. Yeah, yeah. I see that as well. Yeah, yeah. I see that as well. Yeah, that's bull. Yeah, I see that as well. Yeah, that's yeah. In, Mal in Malvern, there's a couple churches like that. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. That's what a church, man. That's yeah. my church is there. Around there, Red Palace. That's the main church, man. Peter Kiel. What? No, no, no. Verse last. Seize your boys here on the wall. No. You're all black. Mm -hmm. Most of you. Let me read this real quick. Let me read this. Oh, you have something. Let me read this real quick. Wow. Um, this is Ezekiel 16 That's and 13. We're going to the churches, and you said it's the whorehouse, right? The whole time. So Ezekiel 13, 16 and 13. The whole side goes in. This is like we will all talk to a woman like this before too, right? So it says, and you were adorned with gold and silver. Your clothes were made of fine linen, and this is in the NLT, and you were beautiful, talking about the nation of Israel, mm -hmm. embroidered 
You ate the finest foods, choice flour, honey, and olive oil, and became more beautiful than ever. You looked like a queen, and so you were. Your fame soon spread throughout the world because of your beauty. I dressed you in my splendor and, perfect, and, per, and perfected your beauty, says the Sovereign Lord Yahweh. But you thought your fame and beauty were your own. So you gave yourself as a prostitute to every man who came along. Your beauty was theirs for the asking. Yo, wait, the most I goes in, just wait. It says, you you a Hulk. I'm telling you, yeah. you're you a yeah, that's, that's all right. right. I, I, I pimped up to his whole thing. Don't shit without me. Yeah. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. You, use, you <laughs> used to love, you, it's like it says, you used the lovely things I gave you to make shrines for idols. Were you, were you played, where you played the prostitute? Mm. Yeah, because what, what a lot of people could do especially the majority of you men that fell out of the truth, you try to use the knowledge that was given to you right. to overtake <laughs> the men, the, the, the elders, yeah. right? You try to outsmart the elders, and that's what the scriptures are saying that we did to the Most High, right? Right. The Most right. High gave everything, and we try to use that to act like it was all through us. Yeah. That's why That's why Moses never went into the Holy Land, eh? And all he did was misspeak. So that's why you got to be careful just about misspeaking. Yeah. That's why, you know, brothers will be like, oh, slack it, slack it. And, you know, we'll, we'll reword what we said because yeah. sometimes in pride, you can say something to make it seem like it's you, mm -hmm. but it's not you. Nothing is you. Exactly. Nothing is you. Exactly. Even though you're the one that has to put in the work, you have to put in the studies. Yeah. Like, yes, yeah. you have some of you brothers, you study hours to to make a video or you, yeah. you know you do certain things you have had a double shift and then you still make a video yeah. and then you might look at yourself and you know yeah, I, you I put that yeah, word yeah, I yeah, did yeah, this yeah, but it's through the spirit of Yahweh that's right that's right yeah, you, yeah. and that's, that's, that's true because Moses and, uh, and Aaron they didn't give credence to the Heavenly Father when he split the rock mm -hmm. he says see I gave you water right right <laughs> yeah. so it says uh, verse 16, you used to love you use the lovely things I gave you to make shrines for idols where you played the prostitute. Unbelievable. How could such a thing ever happen? Wow. You took the very jewels and gold and silver ornaments I had given you and made statues of men. Do you know how stupid that is? I'm telling you. <laughs> it's just like when um, no. it's just like when the Heavenly Father was telling to David, he's just like, if you needed more wives, I would have made you. Ask. My yeah. gene, what did you need? Yeah. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. You went and you went to go get another man's wife, you Whoa. killed him, you set him up, you breeded her, you wow. think, yeah. what? Yeah. 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 Okay. Man said, yo, if you wanted more, I would have gave you yeah. Yeah. such and such. Yeah. He gave you a woman that looked kind of like her. If you yeah. wanted, better. Better. You know, better. Or better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the most I can do that. You know yeah. what I mean? Especially yeah. in the kingdom. That's gonna, you know? And that's and that was before <laughs> Yahweh Shai's time. Right. When you go into Second Ezra, the third chapter, it talks about, as he's going through the whole uh, history, he's saying that the Lord didn't take out that malignant group in the flesh, right? Which is the weakness of faith. But now in Yahweh is here, you can, you can, like, you basically... You don't follow those kind of things. Or if you do, you repent in your how about you shy? So true. They didn't have that. No. They didn't have that yet. So this is a greater time that we're in. Yeah, that's so true. You know? Mercy, more mercy. Mercy's more. Like, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, verse 15. So it says, but you thought, oh no, no, 16. In the middle of 16. Oh, it's not in the middle of 17. It says, you took the very jewels and gold and silver and ornaments I had given you and made statues of men and worshiped them. This is adultery against me. You use the beautiful embroidered clothes I gave you to dress your idols. Then you use my special oil and incense to worship them. Imagine it. Yeah. You said it's just like it's just like us with our women today. Mm -hmm. Our women are going against us, saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, we don't want nothing to do with you, black men." Not understanding that you cannot be an Israelite woman. Unless you come from an Israelite man, mm. you're cursing yourself. Mm, mm, mm. 
You can't curse the man. It's just like us. For us to curse Yahweh Hashem Yahweh we're cursing ourselves, man. Right? That's okay. stupid. Yep, that's right. It says, um, imagine it. You set before them, you sat before them as a sacrifice, the choice flour, olive oil, and honey. Yeah, and just, just like when I see a black woman with, or an Israelite woman, any Israelite woman, you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, with an Edomite. Or I see you with a woman. Yeah. That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. That's gross. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. You're picking a lesser man? <laughs> Why? That's the same way the most <laughs> <I> is <laughs> looking at trust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says, um, Soft imagine it. That <laughs> you set before them as a sacrifice, the choice flour, olive oil, and honey I had given you, says the sovereign Lord Yahweh. Then you took your sons and daughters, the children you had born to me and sacrifice them that's to how much God. that's how much faith we had in these idols we had so much faith in these idols that we thought killing our own children was going to bring us prosperity yeah yo wow Just like the yo they took on the heathen custom exactly it says was was your prostitution not enough <laughs> you, you, you see what we're going into now, though? Yeah. Now we're going into the the, the heaviness of the burden, ah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Because the laden, there's right. always more that they need. Right. There's always more. The Most High never asked us to sacrifice our children. Right. Yeah. He never asked us for none of these things that Israel is doing for idol gods, yeah. gods that are not even real. Right. Right. Yep. These niggas in the entertainment world, right? They yeah, have to sacrifice oh, their children. Yeah. 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 Same yeah. parents back here. You ain't asking us Friends. to do all these things. Right? <laughs> right. It says, must you also slaughter my children by sacrificing them to idols? Mm. In all your years. Hey, and if, if there's anybody on the common board, anybody watching our videos, and you think you could use um, Isaac as an example, Isaac wasn't a representative of the Abishai. It, it wasn't a It wasn't a representation. Sacrifice. Of um, and and guess what? We are Abraham in 2024. Mm -hmm. We are all representations of Abraham because we are ready. We're ready to sacrifice our children for this truth. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. That's right. That's right. We don't give a damn about our damn kids, Why? even though we do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. We're willing to do this truth for our children. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because we understand that the kingdom is going to get like 100 more. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we understand more. that that's doing right. this work can can save potentially them. save them. Right, right. We're doing it for them, but yeah. doing it for the Lord. Exactly. You know, he's the source. <clears throat> Verse 22, it says, In all your years of adultery and the decibel sins, you have not once remembered the days long ago when you were naked in a field kicking about in your own blood. What sorrow awaits you, says the sovereign Lord Yahweh, in addition to your other wickedness, you build the pagan shrine and altars to the idols in every town square. You hear? You hear? <laughs> no, no, no. Town square is very, very symbolic very because you have to understand when it comes to masonry, they, that's where they have certain worship. You have Times Square, you have Dundas Square, you have the one up there in Paris. They have squares all over the world, which goes into Saturnian worship. But these places are portals, right? They believe that there's places on the earth where it's easier to communicate with dead or with the spiritual world, right? Exactly. The, the whole layout of it. And it's extend on the square. Exactly. It says, verse 25, on every street corner you defiled your beauty, offering your blood to every pa every er, to every pass passerby in an endless stream of prostitution. Yeah, and that's a representation of all these whorehouses, whether it be Islam, Buddhism, uh, Rastafarianism. You are willing to go into these things and sacrifice yourself. Did you see the, the, the men... Uh, in the 80s that went into uh, the nation of, of, of Islam? You think you could talk to those men back in the 80s? <laughs> they would kill you for yeah. Allah. God, yeah. That's what they did to uh, Abba. Exactly. Yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah. And you're all going to be judged for that. That's right. right. Even though the Most High has already judged all of them and exposed all of them. Mm -hmm. And we found out that a lot of you are filthy. Ah, oh, sodomites. They're sodomites, brother. Yeah. It says, verse right, 26, man. Then you added lustful Egypt to your lovers, provoking my anger with your incense. So like, if I can say one thing about Islam, man. Y'all know better than the black Muslims or whatever. Y'all know better than the Christian church, man. That's right. Because okay? you see some of your women, man, they're doing the same thing the Christian women is doing, showing their ass on the internet and all that, man, in the name of Allah. You see that, man. I'm telling you. <coughs> you women are not no better, man. There's no order in, over there either. Right. Go ahead, Axel. It says you're increasing in your increasing promiscu promiscuity. Mm -hmm. Promiscuity. Yeah, kind of water. Then, then that is why I struck you with my fist. <laughs> I struck you know, when you want to hit it. You know? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and actually, that hey, somebody get the word promiscuity, please. Promiscuousness or promiscuity, and that's what happened to us because we went aboard before this truth. And when you're promiscuous, that means that you sleep with many, you, know, you sleep around, and that was us. That was me. I could speak for myself. I was sleeping around because I was looking for the truth. I, I first thought the truth was in um, uh, Rastafarianism. I, I checked out um, uh, Buddhism, right? I checked out. Um, just different uh, Egyptology. Mm -hmm. I went into Egyptology to see because there was a guy by the name of Asher Kwesi at that time, and I was just like, "Yo, this guy is deep, man. Holy, these guys." I went into a uh, uh, five percenter mm -hmm. because the five percenters were talking about uh, we're gods, uh, yeah, right. and that re resonated with me. Course, so yeah. I went into that a little bit, and um, that's hor that's promiscuity, yeah. right? As a man, you're being promiscuous. You're sleeping with everybody. Yeah. Anybody get the word? Yes, uh, promiscuous, uh, having or involving many sexual partners. That's it, yeah. right? You you have many sexual partners. When, exactly, that fornication, mm -hmm. but don't get carnal, right? Don't get carnal like the, the heathens, mm -hmm. because that's why the heathens created a god known as Pan, thinking that mm -hmm. that sexuality is a representation of homosexuality or, or just a, a fornication mm -hmm. like Bacchus. Right with their orgies, we are intimate or we fornicate with the Lord spiritually. This is an intimate fornication. We're intimate, and intimate doesn't just mean sleeping with somebody sexually. You can be intimate with somebody through knowledge, in conversation, in conversation. You can have intimate conversation. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. That's right. Um, oh, was there more? Uh, it says not restricted to one sexual partner. Exactly. And that's not how we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. We are restricted to one partner. Yeah. So that's why when the brother said to you women, <clears throat> if you don't have a man, you're single. That's what it is for women. Because what it is for fornication for a woman is different from a man. Yeah. A man can have multiple partners when it comes to a female. Mm -hmm. We can only have one partner when it comes to the most high. Yeah, indeed. Um, that was it. That's so verse twenty-seven says, "That's why I struck you with my fist and reduced your boundaries. I had I handed you over to your enemies, the Philistines." And right, because what were we committing for all you women that you know you claim, oh, oh, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and you Native Americans, you can't be faithful. <laughs> we were committing spiritual adultery, a spiritual adultery. Right. How we how we how we do physical uh, uh, adultery is by sleeping with another man's woman, mm -hmm. or even even lusting after her. Yeah, idolatry. And yeah, adultery. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right. I like that. Yeah. And it says that is why I struck you with my fist and reduced your boundaries. Mm -hmm. I handed you over. To to your enemies, the Philistines, and even they were shocked by your lewd conduct. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> now, wow. what scripture is that? Is uh, says we have taught the wicked, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. become more wicked. You know? yeah. Oh, we become more wicked than the wicked. That's, that's yeah. So true. You know. So true. And it says yeah, you have the Assyrians too. It seems you can never find enough new lovers. Right? Because when you go into the Assyrians, I think. 
and that's where you people celebrate Easter. Have you ever seen you niggas at Easter time? Have you ever seen how you blacks, Latinos, Native Americans get down during Easter? Oh my gosh. Jeez, you can't talk to them around that time. They're worshiping Jesus. <laughs> Remember, um, Zebra son that Esther? Zebra and son? Yeah, yeah. have some truth in that shit. <laughs> and it says, lovers, and after your prostitution there, you still were not satisfied. You added your lovers by embracing Babylonia mm -hmm. and the land of merchants, but you still weren't satisfied. Wow. What a sick heart you have, <laughs> says the sovereign Lord Yahweh, Wow. To do such things as these acting like a shameless prostitute. Wow. You build your your pagan. Yo, do you know what it means to be a shameless prostitute? <laughs> because prostitutes are supposed to have standards. Yes. True. This is yeah, a shameless true. prostitute. Mm -hmm. True. There are certain things that a prostitute is not supposed to do. That's like a slut. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, sluts don't have any shame, but yeah. prostitutes have uh, yeah. a little bit of uh, yeah. only fans yeah. tricks. They don't have yeah. a shame. Yeah, con. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> you know, that's, yeah. that's the spirit. What you're yeah. saying, because Mosai says it too. Oh, con. He explains why you're shameless. And it says, I'm going to skip down to verse 33. It says, prostitutes charge for their service. Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> no! Wait, and then it says, but not you. But the most has a pill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about the backhand? Yo, you talk about the backhand? <laughs> <laughs> You ain't shit without me. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It says, prostitutes charge their services. Wow. But not you. Yeah. You <laughs> give Bro, gifts girls. to your lovers. Yeah. Read that again. I it says, Ezekiel wow. 16 and 33. Prostitutes charge for their services. Yeah. But not you. You give gifts to your lovers, Damn. bribing them to come and have sex with you. Wow, yeah. the worst kind of hole. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Yeah. And that's the and that's the black woman. Yeah. That's a yeah. representation of us as well. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a representation of our black woman because our yeah. black women actually chase their oppressor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They chase yeah. their oppressor, yeah. well, beg God. him yeah. to sleep with her, yeah. and that's us. Yeah. We go God. into these hey. Just like these entertainers, yeah. they go into the they, they, they Freemasonry like, yeah. and they go into the and they like, can I please be a part of your right. secret club? Right. Please, I'll do right. whatever, yeah. I'll do anything, yeah. I'll yeah. do anything to be a part of this. I'll kill my mama. Yeah, God, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And it says, verse 34, you are the opposite of other prostitutes. Wow. <laughs> you pay your lovers instead of their paying you. Damn. Damn. That's it right there. Yo, what scripture is that? ZK 16. Someone else throw something up? Most of them. Demon. Saying they like it. Is that a bird? Like it? <sighs> yeah, Saying. Huh? No, no, but look over. Do you see anybody? <laughs> Yeah, somebody just opened the door for him. Right. Yeah, that was it. Ezekiel 16. That whole chapter is bad, though. I got something that goes into it. I got Jeremiah. That was Ezekiel what? 16. 16. Yeah. 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 Send that to me. Okay. Send that to my phone. Okay. Jeremiah that was NLT, I like. Yeah, that was NLT. Jeremiah so, 5 and 7. Is that the same in the King James? King yeah. James. Yeah. 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 Get old English. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah 5 and 7. How shall I pardon thee for this? Thy children have forsaken me and sworn by them that are no gods and fed them to the full. They then committed adultery and assembled themselves by the troops in the hard houses. Hmm. Yeah, which represents uh, church of the God and these churches, yeah. Most of the time I say, like, what is the tennis? Like, this Jacob tennis went to Hollywood. Like, you know, they're getting paid the least. You know, like, what? They're, 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 they're paying, like, yeah. they're getting paid, like, you know, like, fair, but this Jacob, you know, they get the shorthand, you know? They do. They yeah. get themselves upset for us. They do. You know, just, just to get that fame, but. Work their way up. 
Yeah. 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 Taraji P is yeah. complaining about right now. Yeah, right. She said she's done with acting because she knows she's not getting paid what her white that's counterparts true. get paid. Yeah, yeah. She's that's literally true. saying that. Mm-hmm. So that's true what you're saying. Yeah. Like, uh, Terrence, how, how are you going? Like, three grand or five grand for the move rule, some big move rule did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big side of that. yeah Khan. Khan. Yeah, Khan. That, 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 that world is not meant for them. That world is not their world. Right? Yeah. You know? This is uh, Hustle and Flow thing that we have like three grand. Yeah, Hustle and Flow, he never got, he got paid peanuts. Yeah, and he, Yeah, even all the um, the cast of uh, what's Friday? It Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Five thousand. Oh, yeah. Five thousand. Yeah. 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 Yes. Why did he make uh, millions? And, and back then he was calling um, the JWs devils and shit, but he's doing worse than exactly than those guys. Yeah. 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 I I ice cube suppose and evolve now, you know? Yeah. yeah. You're involved too, my guy. Like, <laughs> and your son is involved. Yeah, and your, his son yeah. is big time right now. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah 2, this quick reason. Jeremiah 2 33. Why trimish thou thy ways to seek love? Oh, that was me. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Jeremiah 2 33. Why trimish thou thy way to seek love? Therefore. Hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? You know, and especially, you know, with these Jakes in Hollywood, man. You know, they're pretty much trimming their ways, you know, seek, seeking for Esau's approval. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? but, we, but we don't have any ways anymore because that's going into your culture. Right. You have no culture. You've been culture. So now you're willing to say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, put on this suit to make sure that I fit in. Yep. I'm going to celebrate Christmas to make sure that I fit in. I'm, I'm, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna, uh, 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 um, do whatever it is to fit in yeah, right. to this society, right. to make myself more acceptable mm-hmm. right. to this society and not as threatening to uh, 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 um, yeah. the, the, the fashion of this world. Right. And you know what, too, because... Um, there's that scripture that says, Woe unto him that gives his neighbor drink mm-hmm. to uncover his shame. So Esau is our neighbor, the neighbor goes with his brother. He's our twin brother. But then the leaders are just going to do the same thing with the flock. Right? Because these guys, you know, the leaders will tell you, will tell Esau, Well, you know what? If you play this kind of music or you do it like this, they'll really flock to this. Yeah. Just like because you know, they have ARs, they have ARs and stuff like that. Right. They're, they're right. mostly Jake, a lot right. of them, right? Right. That's so they need, they need Jake. To get on Jake, exactly. you know what I'm saying? To take exactly. down Jake, right? And during the Ikibiki, they had that. They had Jake telling, they had rap like rappers, or them say, right, yeah, telling yeah. you to take the the you know the juice. Seen a cartoon about it, and exactly, right. Right. right, exactly. And look at their households. When right, you go right. into these actors, when you go into these sports athletes, look at Magic Johnson. Look yeah. at Dwayne Wade. Yeah. You're worried about my household. Go yeah. clean up your yeah, household. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Something's going on in your house. Yeah, that's right. Your house, yeah. whatever that's you guys right. are teaching white, in your house is not working. Like that, um, yeah. Something yeah. in the eye. What the heck? Yeah, yeah. That was, that's uh, uh, Matthew 7. What was it? Uh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. 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 The heck? Yeah, the, the, the Smiths. The Smiths? Don't come to us, man. Don't worry about us. <laughs> yeah. Worry about your own house, man. <laughs> the heck? And when they use Tyler Perry to bring that drag shit yep. in the forefront. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah, it's down. Like, I feel who was saying it, like, you know, if, if you want a, a big fat mama, grandma, just look at it. It's, it's not hard to find. And you, you know why he was, he was so praised as well? Because he did two things. He did that with the, the female, the, with the men dressing, he normalized that, normalized that black woman attitude. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To where it's okay right. to be that yeah. degenerate, right. I hate shit. men, and right. you're like, oh, I hate that attitude. My well, mama man. got you with it. Yeah. You know, don't need no grandfather, so it's my grandma. The diary of man, black woman. Gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely my life. Wow, that's true. The other precepts? Was that it, Huck? Yeah. Yeah. That was good. I was trying to find something. For the mold? Yeah. It's Matthew 7. Just the uh, mold. M O L T or M O T E. Oh, Matthew. Matthew. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Matthew 7. 
And two, a couple more. Of those, but I'll start with one. Judge not that he be judged, for with what judgment he judge, he shall be judged. And with what measure he meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thy own eye? You know, going into the, these, these, whatever, these entertainers talking about, you know, getting the, the VA, whatever, the, the VAX. Mind you, their household is all messed up, man. They're trying to tell us that, you know, what to do in our home household. And mind, mind you, their children are moles, right? Their daughters are sluts, yep. right? And then also the teachers of Israel, too. Crime. So we also have to make sure that we're not being hypocrites. Crime, crime, You crime. know, with these lessons that we're doing. Because you got, even within GMS, you got a lot of hypocrites. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Crime. So don't be doing acting, man. Exactly. You know, there's a hypocrite that's acting. Exactly. exactly. As uh, Brother Howard mentioned earlier, that don't think you're fooling him. He might be fooling us. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. We're fooled. Yeah. 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 We're just yeah. men. Yeah. Jake's a panther, right? So. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we're just Jake men. And, Jake. and a moat is smaller than a beam. Mm -hmm. So it's funny he said that. You're looking at the moat in somebody else's eye, but you're not considering the beam in your eye. Mm -hmm. The moat is what we call sleep. We call mata in Jamaica the moat. Cool. Cool. Yeah, because it, because you have to understand, it's not about. I'm not judging Will Smith because his kids are that. No, he promoted that to his kids. A man in the truth, and you promote righteous children turned out to be degenerates. No, no, I'm not talking about that, brother. So if you take it like that, then you're completely going off. These men promote those things. Will Smith. Uh, um, uh, uh, broke his children that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. He yeah. kissed his son in the mouth mm -hmm. multiple times yeah. until he became that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. when yeah. 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 was yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, his 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 <laughs> wife is. <laughs> we won't get into that. Exactly. We won't get into that. Look at the hands. You see them big, tough old forties. <laughs> That's a man's leg. That's not like a nigga that is like first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, up. Verse four. Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, "Let me pull out of thine eye, and behold, beam is in thine own eye"? Yeah. And Right, I'm actually that's talking about a brother. That's why we say our faith is our shine because none of us are perfect, right? So for you, it, the, the overrighteous thing doesn't work here in this thing of ours. Overrighteous card doesn't work because that means that you don't need a savior. But we already brought that up. So if you never forgot that, then this is not for you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Right? We're looking for deliverance out of this hellhole, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep, both the society and the body. That's right. The yeah. height of this body. Right, man. What? <laughs> sure, us. Yeah. These damn, uh, 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 because remember, yeah. this body has needs. Right. That's over us. Right. The right. lust. Right. right. The lust of this body is stronger than us. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I hope you know that. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys know that. The spirit is the the flesh is weak. Exactly. Yeah. Right. The yeah. lust of this body is way stronger than you are. That's right. That's why right. right. we need you know, shot. That's yeah. right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody. That's why Esau goes so hard on amplifying the carnal, man. Exactly. Exactly. Moving all over Instagram exactly. and, you know, exactly. all that shit. Food. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Amplifying everything. Yeah. Man. Because then, it, he, what you're talking about is how he, he permeates your subconscious. Yeah. Right. So then you're thinking to yourself, why am I thinking this demonic thought? Mm -hmm. what? But that's because it's programmed. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it's in the flesh. Yeah. Yeah. It's already programmed. You've been walking in a wheelchair or something. Yeah. Like a man's riding. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Con. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you're rebuking uh, in your mind. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's in all these shows. It's all yeah, these yeah. Shows. yeah. I just watched a show like that yesterday. I'm just like, where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, that, it just came out of the field. Hey, like, like, some of the TV shows that Issa, he makes, they're good, but then at the end, or somewhere in the middle, you get it through like some sort of my business. Always. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Always, always. Like, yeah, because even the movie yeah, watching yeah, another the other day. The other day I was watching this movie called Saltburn. 
I thought it was a regular movie, and all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing see. Esau in his madness. Mm -hmm. well, like that is was that the one where he drank the man's bath water? Even worse, with the woman, he 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 ate her period. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He oh, ate her period. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He wanted her to be on her period. Yeah. Because she's like, no, 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 no. And he's just like, no, I want to. <laughs> you see, no, I think he's like, I like my new blood or some shit. Yeah, yeah. He's like, something yeah. I mean, you don't write that in the world. You call it clown face. I don't even know. I learned something every day. Oh, that's what they call it. That's what they call it. That's what they call it. Yeah, man. Go to his house now, I'm good. I'm good, no food. We used to call it running the red light. Yeah. That's hilarious. Demonic place we live in. Wicked society, man. You know, a couple more, but going to five percent. Of course, yeah. Come on. Uh, script, before, script. Yeah, come on. Verse yeah, 5. Yeah. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out thy own eye, and then sh shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Thou right. right. point on that. Right. Any brother that any clothes? Yeah, because really and truly, our, our, our representation of upliftment for us. Right. So you don't want to be a burden to your brother. Because then you won't fulfill what this strict this, uh, the, the, the word or this truth is, which is a gospel. This is supposed to be good news. So if you're a brother that's always your foot is on the neck of a brother, then you're not uplifting him. Right? And this is this is made for upliftment for your spirit. When you leave today, you're supposed to feel alive. You're supposed to say, yo, I got something from this. You're telling me that you did a whole lesson. Or some of you brothers have 200 videos, 300 videos, and you're not uplifting a brother? So I, I, watch, I watch 10 of your videos and I don't get no inspiration? Something's wrong, man. It's supposed to be inspiration, man. It's not always, always supposed to, you're just kicking brothers down, kicking brothers down. No, there needs to be inspiration, man. Breathe life into the brothers, man. Make the brothers leave your, your thing and feel alive. I'm like, okay, yeah. I can, I can go the week now because yeah, you have to yeah, understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The brothers have to go another week yeah, in the world. I'm telling you, man. It's rough, man. It's rough, man. It's freaking rough. The heck, you want the brothers come to camp and then they leave camp and they're like, fuck. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You go next week, ain't going next week. They're not coming. <laughs> they're not coming. They're not coming. They're coming back. They're coming back. They're coming back. <laughs> the world, man. Brothers supposed they're to get right their well. fix right here. Right, right, right. This is where you come and you get your fix, man. Right. Right. Yeah. Con. So, uh, any lasting precepts or statements? Let me get one last bit. Con. Right. Close it up on that. Uh, Matthew 5 and 14. This is a quick script. Thank God. It says, uh, Ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So that's how we'll make these videos. I'll make them public. Right? Because that's going to be a light to work. Right? So, yeah, I a brother in the world might be, you know, certain, certain, certain something come across the video. I'm a what? I'm an Israelite? His name is Jesus? Right, just, so like, just the same way we, you, we did it. You know, you, you were looking for it. And like, oh, I saw it. Come on. Come on. That's why I found the truth. Yeah. I mean, I was looking for something totally different. Mm -hmm. you know? Looking for some, 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 some madness in the world. Like, oh, what, what, what's this over here? Oh, it's <laughs> true. God's like, I found the truth. Hey, but you, but you brothers can use that as well. You can use your worldly things to promote the truth. Like you brothers that are into working out, yeah. you can do a video yeah. on bodybuilding uh, and completely go into the truth just and just deceive them. Just you completely deceive them. They're yeah. like, I thought I was getting a workout yeah. video. This guy's talking about week. the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even, even it helps, like a smoothie. Yeah, that's what about, I'm about a smoothie is for the body. Yeah. Brothers go into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And that house, it says, is light to them that are in the house. Mm -hmm. That house is the house of David. Uh -huh. Could name your video how to how to get the biggest glutes. <laughs> and then they come and they're just like, oh, you know, shit. That's right. Look, open on a man. That's right, man. 
68. So you brothers can use worldly stuff and make righteous, man. That's right. It's okay to use what you're into, man. You're into that. That's right. It's okay. That's right. You're into that, man. There's, you're into comic books? Okay. Comics are cool, man. Yeah. You're into movies? Use movies, man. It's okay. Hey, man, Paul said that. Uh, Movie uh, review. Movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah come on. Yeah, yeah. I can do spiritual things. I can't remember. It was an exchange, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they had to give the carnal. So they, had, right. they gave the tithes, right, right, right. whatever, or a tenth of whatever their land or mm -hmm. whatever the fold that they had mm -hmm. in order to receive the truth. Right, right, right. 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 Because in order for most of us when we came to the truth, we had to give up something yeah, yeah. in order to, you know, to the receive game. this word. Yes, right. Right. Hey, like one of you brothers, I know you brothers are going to do a video on this guy, Little Nas X. You're going to draw a lot of people with that because yeah. you have a lot of people that follow that yeah. demon. Right. Yeah. yeah. The scriptures say, use the world and not abuse it. Exactly. Verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Exactly. So you can't be a nigger at the job and you're preaching this truth. Exactly. They, you have to like you, you're supposed to, you're supposed to stand out in a way where it's like yo this guy he's it's different it's different you know? yeah. he doesn't like yeah, yeah. he does his job yeah. he doesn't say too much he, you know, he's polite mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. he's righteous he's righteous he's, he's tempered yeah exactly he doesn't give away a lot exactly. exactly but they don't know that because what this world is missing is good listeners and if you are a righteous man you become a good listener you let people their guts to you. Yeah, that's and that's okay. That's good. 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 Beautiful. All right, so with that, we're going to close up. Uh, we're going to give all praises and honor and glory to you. Yahweh, 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 honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and have taught us this word in truth and sincerity. Peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, starting with 144,000 that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. All right, and uh, low known this lesson is better for the hopeful elect. We're going to say a ball, a ball. A ball, a ball. Shalom. Shalom. To the hopeful elect. To the hopeful elect.